I'm back. Hey, welcome everybody. Tuesday, we are here. We are live. We pulled it off 100% in the doghouse. <laughs> so thank everybody. Thank you, everybody who's out there in, uh, you know, just uh, just eating it with us. <laughs> the shout out to everybody who is watching this with your loved one, right? You know, like, hey, babe, yeah. I know what we should do. We were going to go to the movie, movie, but we're going to watch a live movie. Movie. Yeah. It's basically like a movie, except there's only one screen, no cuts, no edits. Yeah. Uh, slightly lower budget than uh, Avatar 2. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, it's... Not uh, by much. Though. Not by much. Not by much. Not by much. Um, a couple thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, shout out to everybody that's out there. Uh, got a really cool, really fun show to you for you guys. Uh, lots of, a couple of announcements, not a lot of announcements, but we got a couple of announcements. We do have somebody, uh, who I know is inevitably who, uh, uh, <laughs> for sure agreed to do the show before they checked the calendar and realized it was a Valentine's day. Oh. Um, so we're going to get him on the show right away. Tom Cole is with us tonight. Um, we're going to, we're going to have him for, for about a half an hour. I don't know if it's a hard cutoff time, but you know, there's always a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little overlap. we got a little video from Kyle that we're going to be showing on the show today. From Verbal? He, from Verbal, he just played paintball this weekend and bunkered a bunch of people oh, yeah. uh, on his new team. He didn't bunker anybody. Fr- Did you bunker anybody on your team? Yeah. Uh, the were- video is, is me bunkering J-Rap. Oh, where it? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Also, new partnership. And it's going to come with some give- giveaways. We got HK Army in the house. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I needed to. Uh, I need to throw them up on the on the on the on the big screen here. Whoa. Hold on one second. We're gonna do that. Whoa. And hey, look at you! Wow, company, baby. Oh, bad company jersey. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's move it. This thing down a little bit. There he is. It's like a Valentine's Day colors too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about the Valentine's Day colors because I'm probably getting in trouble currently for the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, a million percent. Everybody's getting in trouble. Yeah, I don't know why we do these things on Valentine's Day. I didn't even think about it until someone warned me, and I was like, huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually just, I don't know if you're watching the show also, but I literally just said that. I go, I'm fairly certain that he uh, he did not check his calendar before he agreed to do this. We yep, did a no, poll yesterday. All. We did a poll to see if we if everyone wanted to switch the show, but majority. And they voted no? They yeah. voted no, yeah, yeah. There's because their matrimony, my matrimony, it doesn't matter to them at all. <laughs> no, no, neither does uh, neither does mine or anybody else's for that matter. I like it. Hey, yeah. you know, it's it's always just a little bit more fun if we uh, if we take every take everybody down with us. You know what I mean? Yep, that's it's like, for sure. That is for sure. You know, if you, if you, if we're, I if we're, we're not gonna, winning, I don't we'll want you to win. Use a dog here. I have a new Tom Cole's dog. Oh there wow! Right there. Look at that! Oh wow! Hey, same, same breed. No, he's a, this is a Jack Russell. We never really knew what the other one was. I just found him on the side of the road. So, <laughs> kind of looked like true that. story about the other dog, Sam. Um, when I got him, I found him on the way to a UWL practice that Dynasty was practicing at for whatever reason. I don't know why. And instantly, he peed in my car when I picked him up, my Toyota FJ. And then this dog just did the same today. So it's like uh, it's fake. synonymous. They're together. Yeah. Peeing in the Toyota FJ. <laughs> Um, that's right. I forgot you drive one of those things. Yeah, I've had it since 2009. You and Trevor Reezer. Hold on. Oh, does Trevor have one too? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, Tom, where where do you live at currently right now? I live in Alabama. Oh. So you already did your Valentine's Day stuff or? No, I have not. <laughs> I have not. What do you, uh, what do you have? What Are you, you wearing have? that to dinner? I am not. So now you, oh, yeah. So we had dinner last night. Uh, we went out to dinner last night. Good call, yeah. Now, my woman likes paintball, but I don't know if she likes it that much. Um, I'm cooking dinner tonight for her. She's working. She's a nurse. A tr- uh, yeah, so she's a nurse. Emergency room nurse. That's a smart move, cooking. So instead of going out to uh, restaurants and sitting shoulder to shoulder with people on Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's for sure. Are we having technical difficulties? Or ah, man, you look confused. I look confused. We, you know, yeah, we it's weird. This, like, yeah, always. We actually, we actually, um, we have like a lottery, one of those little lottery ball things that you spin, right? And we put in like a bunch of random stuff that could happen that would break on the show, and uh, and we just kind of pull it out. Usually, it's the microphone. Sometimes it's the internet. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's camera three, or camera two that's broken. Broken, but everybody can still hear you. 
which is good. Perfect. And it's and it's it's odd, you know. I got this like uh, I don't know if I want. I don't even know if I want to tap on the on the equipment too hard because that yeah. might short something else out. Yeah, we but we're good. Little. We got. I'm I'm sure. The, I'm thinking the audio still. We're still rock solid on the audio. But everybody yeah. saw your jersey. We all. Everybody saw you. Oh, so, so now I'm gone now. No, no, you're. Well, you're well, here. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I see you. We see you. We hear you. You're here. Okay. You're here, but you're. You don't think you know. it's just a, a little wiggle of this guy? Um. It yeah. I mean, hurt it, my it, it, at all. it does. It shouldn't. It shouldn't hurt your feelings. It's. It's okay. It's okay. We're getting like you know. There, there's like my upgrades. That, have already been destroyed. It, you know. Yeah. You. You got. <laughs> I, I. Job is not good for feelings. That's for sure. It sure isn't. And actually, we'll, we can kind of like try to jump into some of that stuff. Um. Because I know that that was like one of the, one of the, uh, the things that you wanted to talk about. Um, as well, you have really thick skin, I would say, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not skin. something for the, uh, for the faint of heart. That's for sure. No, not at all. Yeah, we were no, watching, Ryan and I were watching it. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, just saying, yeah, no, you don't want to have soft skin over here. We were watching, um, this little press conference with, uh, with Jerome Powell the other day and, uh, Chairman Powell, and it was like kind of like a funny interview. I'm like, man, Tom Cole's really like, uh, like Powell. They just speak well. They always know what to say. Um, can handle the handle the pressure. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it a long time, so. But yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. It's it, it helps when you like. I, I I did airsoft for like one year, and I had to talk there as well. And it's a lot harder if you don't know the subject, right? I feel pretty comfortable here, right? I don't need to like prep or be worried about what I'm gonna say. I know. You know, I've been involved in a lot of it, so it's not like I need to make stuff up, so. Yeah, man. Airsoft's been blowing up, I feel like. I don't know. You know, they do a really good job as far as people being able to play in their own backyards, but as far as organizations concerned, they're still way behind us. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's um, timing, right? So Airsoft started before or after we had kind of like the universal magazines and kind of stuff like that. Now it's so divided. Um, like they don't have a spick and span show that kind of unifies tournament paintball, you know, to talk about it. And they don't have an NXL. That's kind of like the, the overall rules body kind of system. So I, I do want to, uh, I do want to, uh, just point out big thank you for saying that we are the ones that are unifying yeah. everything. Um, well, Marcelo's got a pretty good show over there too with Tyler. I'm not gonna take that away. He does. He does. Right he does. They're me. creators of the year, man. Yeah, they're they're creators of the year. There's less shows. There's less shows in in paintball than there's in airsoft. In airsoft, there's like a hundred different authorities. Uh huh. Um, so in paintball, there's a lot less. Okay. Okay. Um. So let me ask you this because we kind of talked about it, and, and it's the one. Oh, uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, the heroines documentary? I, I thought it was amazing. I, I, um, I, yeah. I, I actually meant to call Anthony today to tell him I thought it was a great job. I mean, I didn't particularly, just as a personal thing, I didn't like the AI part where it was like doing the, the AI voiceover, but the content was amazing. You know what I mean? And, yeah. um, you know, I, I, you know, that's one of the things I'm the most happy about that we've accomplished is this women's thing and giving them a place, you know, like, like my thought, like in the middle of watching that, I'm like, we can't, I can't give you respect, right? You can't, you don't just buy the respect by buying an entrance fee and all that stuff. You have to earn it. And that's mm-hmm. what we're really doing is we're giving these people a place to earn for sure their place in PayPal, right? Yeah, and, and I, I would like to see um everybody else who's kinda out here, did everybody else who, who was able to watch the uh the documentary, did you guys all get a chance to see that? Because if you haven't, um it's uh it's insane. It's like really, really good. Um I, I think we, we got a sneak preview of it with uh with Lori and Anthony at the Paintball Combine. And I'd already seen we'd shown off the uh, we've shown off the uh, uh, the preview or the trailer a couple of times, and I thought that they did a really good job with just that that trailer. And then the whole thing was like it, it just, just did such a good job of explaining what paintball was. I thought that yeah, that was like a super done a important part. Job than we've done, you know, it's, <laughs> we were frustrated about that on our end. <laughs> like, That's amazing. It's exactly what I want. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so I believe that guy's, uh, that guy's information was in the credits. So you could probably give him a shout and, uh, I'm already, I'm already on that. Already yeah. on that. Okay. So let's talk about this then. What, why, why has it been so difficult for you to, uh, to, to get that going? 
Like what, what, what is it that the struggle for the marketing side of things? Cause I know I had a little bone to pick with you on the marketing side of things when you posted all the, the, the tremendous prize packages. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. That's a challenging question. That's a good one. Um, I mean, in the end, it just comes out of time, right? We're, we're chasing so many balls in the air, right? I mean, I probably give you more of the, the things that we're working on than most, but there's a lot going on. And mm-hmm. anytime you start dealing in the real world, everything takes a lot more time. You know, like me and Alex are working out some sponsorship stuff and it takes like two calls, right? Trying to schedule this Boy Scout thing that we're doing is like three trips to West Virginia and about 17 Zoom calls later, you know what I mean? So, and I'm not arguing with it. That's a good system for them to have. Uh-huh. It's just anytime we step into the real world, I call it, you know, it's it's a lot more labor intensive. Sure. That's uh, that's a good way of looking at it. Anytime you step into the real world, it's more labor intensive. You know, obviously, and, because when you have when you have a relationship with somebody, it, it works out really well, right? Well, and, and one of the challenges we have, I, I call it like the layman's view, which uh-huh. is probably not a good way to put it. But like we are so incestuous in a good way that Uh everybody's been playing paintball and everybody kind of knows what they're doing when they get to the NXL. Uh We don't have a lot of newcomers and that also might be because we don't make it easy for newcomers to come in, right? Like, if you wanted to argue a score or change a schedule or do something weird, you have to find Chris Rail. And if you don't know who Chris Rail is, how would you do that, right? So, and it brings up an interesting point. So, Let's guess what shirt I will be wearing at the next NXL event. What color shirt? All right. Yeah. Black. Nope, white on Sundays. Okay, blue. Light blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah. So khaki. I wear the same exact look, outfit. I, look, I wore, I, wore my, I wore my khaki pants because I knew you were coming I on today. Appreciate, yeah. I appreciate it. Look, I even got a little pocket right here. I picture earlier today. Um, but, um, you know, like, I wear the same thing so everybody knows who to come complain to. If you ask anyone where I'm at, someone's just going to say, just find a dude in the blue shirt and the khakis. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, so do you mean that the NXL staff and everybody, you should make them all wear uh, some sort we, of... We, so that's what we're working on, right? Right, so our, uniforms. Our referees that are in charge of information wear red shirts, right? So, okay. Right? So, yeah, we're trying to color code stuff, but we need to do a better job of, of making sure that information is available. Like, we're working on now, like, a, a how to get into tournament paintball and and, and all the different nuances that we have and what to expect out of tournament paintball, we are definitely working on that. And that's part of the Major League Paintball kind of initiative there that we're doing this year. Okay, and are you unveiling that, like, at the first event? It'll be in the next couple weeks we'll be unveiling that. Okay, yeah. okay, but you're going to have, you're going to be implementing a lot event. of that stuff. So the insurance, right, that's, that's the biggest challenge that we're facing, like I said, the real world, right? So we're working on players' insurance, and um, that, that's – that's really where the legal wrangling is coming in and that's pushing us into the, the ninth hour here trying to get that all done. Um, do you want to just kind of give remind everybody and give a little insight into that? I think that might have been that, – that's probably like the biggest announcement that I think in the, the last decade of paintball. I mean, honestly, so we are, we outside are of TV deals. Yeah. When you become a member of Major League Paintball on the tournament side, you will have – or a member of major league paintball you will have a twenty five thousand dollar pre-deductible insurance policy for paintball injuries and initially we were talking about it being only at nxl practices um and now we're trying to expand that to um anytime uh you're playing paintball as a practice so right. if if the if you and Marcello oh, and, and whoever else yosh go to practice one weekend and go run drills or whatever at dave's park or whatever you would be covered under this liability so we've expanded it. So it's oh, cool. trying to change the policy to make it bigger. That's also making it slower. Um, oh, and, and what's the company? Like, how do you even? That's crazy. So you are just you, bring your yeah. player card? Into yeah. The... Yeah, exactly. How so does. Gonna, you'll have an app. So what will happen is when you sign up through us with your membership stuff, right? Uh-huh. You will receive an email from the insurance company, which is Spot Insurance. They're the one that will manage this, right? Mm-hmm. So Spot Insurance will send you an email to sign up through their insurance platform. And it'll be for, you know, a, the way it's going to work most likely is 11 months and the month that you signed up in. So if you if you signed up on January 15th, your your thing would be good all the way till next January 1st. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's really cool. I mean, yeah, and, so and, and you guys are kind of expa- I mean, expanding. One of the things we're trying to improve, right? Like if you play World Cup 
and you buy an ID. This is, I mean, and keep in mind, I inherited all this stuff, and it's just the way it is. Uh-huh. But, you know, if you show up at World Cup, Frank Connell shows up at World Cup, and he's going to play just World Cup. Uh-huh. He's got to go pay 50 bucks, 60 bucks, because there's no way he signed up in advance. Right. So, <laughs> so we are making that ID now good for the next 11 months. So if you want to then come play the first event of the season, that yes. ID is still good. Okay, so it's not calendar year. It's it's going to be a, a yearly. It's, it's going to be your calendar year. So when you sign up, you'll sure. have a, a year's coverage for the insurance and also for what we're calling the licensing for I got the event. Um, so. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, I, honestly, that, that I, I just don't know why we haven't, you haven't been like pumping this more. Well, cause it's not done. Oh shit. So it's, you know, and, and, and I'll give a shot to everybody on the internet that starts like posting all the dumbass ways they're going to scam the system. Right. How counterintuitive is that? <laughs> right. How selfish is that? To just go post how you're going to scam the insurance system so that no one can have insurance. Yeah. You know what I mean, like even if that's what your plan is, let's not post it. Right. <laughs> and it's, it's one of the things that infuriates me is, is the arrogance of everybody. That's like, whatever I got to say is more important than the good of paintball. Right. My yeah. opinion right now is going to be more important than the good of paintball. You know, so that, that makes me irritated. It's one of my things. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to kind of get that off your chest too, a little bit. Cause, cause again, you, you have, you have thick skin, but, but yes, there is I a think, lot of counterintuitive, like when people, when yeah, people it, give it, you it, shit, that's fine. Like you don't really care. Like, all right, I, I get it. You know, if someone's like right, Tom's an asshole yeah. or Tom's an idiot, like, all right, say that all, all you want, all but, but what you're working something. towards to, to undermine the whole system, it's like people don't think, right? Right. Yeah. Um, right. And so, this is my thing. Before you make a post in a public location, think about how that's going to affect people, right, as a whole. Now, and, and I'll give you an example. Let's just take a shot at the NXL. Let's say you don't think the NXL is the place to play. Right. But it currently is the, nas- the only national league we have to offer. <laughs> right. So when I mean, I would start one up. From what I've read, it's super easy to do. Yeah. So I mean, I, I was thinking about just taking you guys down, but I, you know, I, then I got kind of busy trying to plug <laughs> these. I can't, even, I can't even get these goddamn cables it. plugged in properly. <laughs> I'm not um, running the league. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll get into that in a second. Taking us down. Um, the uh, I don't even know where I was going with that, but yeah, people just write stupid stuff. You know, like the gambling thing, right? There, everybody starts posting game fixing and stuff, which, by the way, is a federal offense. <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's put that on your Facebook profile and say that I'm going to commit a federal offense later in life. Um, It's just, you know, it's like sometimes we can't help get out of the way of ourselves. And then that same guy is going to make a post a year from now and be like, why isn't the NXL or paintball in general doing more to get outside mainstream media? You know, maybe because we said foolish things. So that's my vent. Um, So... Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I definitely like it when people try to undermine everything and talk a bunch of shit and then come to the events and be like, dude, this event's sick. So I, I had a, yeah, so at the <laughs> ICPL, right, there's the double points thing is like one of the, the flash points online currently, right, which I don't think anybody on this call even likes. But nope. So anyhow, so we went to the double points. And, I and that's like, including yourself. No, I like the double points. Okay, so you're on the call, just I, FYI. I, Dynasty didn't like the double points and whoever Spica plays for currently. Yeah, um, <laughs> and everybody else. Who does like well, double points aside true. from you? That's not true. There's, yeah. a, there's a loud minority, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. The Austin Notorious guys are stoked on the double points when they squeaked right, right in there. DMG exactly. probably not so stoked, look, but you know. If you look at what happens, if you look at our ranking, there is maybe five teams in, in those lower divisions that play all the events. So it is better for not. I'm trying to make people play less events, which is counterintuitive. Interesting duty. business model. Money grab. Yeah, you mean you had this discussion. It's anti money grab. I want people to play less of NXL events and more local events so that it's a healthier market for everybody. Mm-hmm. I'll probably get fired after this call. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what we want. And having less points count is better for that. I don't want it to be who – it's not a math equation. Sports is not a math equation. You shouldn't be – the more events I play and do great at, um, I automatically win. That's actually a European sports model which sucks in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Who wants to know the winner of the series before the last event? Um, so if you look at the two distinct sports models of way of running leagues, there's a European model and an American model. In the American model, everything condenses into a championship. Thus the World Cup, kind of what we did this year with the pros. Right. The European model is you just play a series of events all year and whoever has the 
best win loss record is the one that wins the title. Well, guess which leagues make the most money? The American leagues. Mm-hmm. Guess what leagues have the most viewership on their championship? The American. Leagues. Are, are we are we excluding soccer? Premier League soccer and stuff like that, I think might I, might you edge can you guys. look it up. I'm pretty sure we do better at the, the, okay. the NFL does better than anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, I believe it. I'll take your word for it. I trust you. So, do you yeah, keep looking over yeah. your clock just to make sure that you're still on time? Yep. yep yeah. Yep. No, that's all right. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, so then back. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like. I looked at that schedule on how to win and you could effectively just play one event in for the most part in the divisions and be a series champion. So you're not really rewarding the people at whatsoever who come to support no, the no, league. No, that's not true at all. You couldn't play one event. D5. I think D5 and like, uh, right, so D5. D5. What is D5? D5 is beginner. Okay. So that's what we want. I don't want beginners feeling like they have to chase the circuit. I want the D5 guys to play, and it's two events. There's no division that's less than two events. Okay. So if you live in Texas, you should play the Texas NXL event. Right. And then you should go to the World Championship. But okay. you not, should not feel like you have to go to... Five events. Five events in order to win. That's counterintuitive. And just look at what the pros got mad. So when we, and I didn't see this when I did the pro thing, but when we went to six events for the pro and said you could drop your lower score, the big complaint was now everybody's got to play six. You mm-hmm. guys played six. I spent hours trying to talk you out of playing six. I was agreeing with you. It's my stupid teammates that insisted on playing the the other event. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you. So I didn't. Insisted. I don't want people chasing. I don't want it to make a money thing. It should be the best team at that moment wins the championship, not the person that was the most consistent. I know that might sound weird, but that's what creates <laughs> spectacle. That's what sports is. You know, you don't have the agony of defeat if you don't have the agony of defeat. And in my opinion, and this is just my opinion. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You, yeah, you, <laughs> you don't know what it's you like to lose until you lose. Us. Right. <laughs> There's a reason why the Super Bowl mattered a lot uh-huh. because that was the game. Yeah, okay. Um it I was ag- not an aggregate. Yeah, I agree with that to a certain extent, but I also I also do believe that it's it's I like what the cha- the the Champions Cup thing was, where you you know like all the rest of the teams play. There's top four that are autom- automatically in, and then there's like this big, you know, thing. I just don't know that double points is necessary. That's all I'm kind of. Um, in a perfect know. world, to get rid of the series standings completely and just make that event the championship, right? Yeah, I mean, so no one really. Things, ca- here's the thing: the no one cares about the series about, or winning the events I unless you. Because I talked in the to running. only Dynasty people apparently. Yeah. Um, was we're looking to make Chicago we're, we're the, smart ones. The, the the North American Championship, and okay. um and then the World Cup is the true World Championship, a standalone event. So that would be where the series title was won going into Chicago, and then the World Cup would be the Super Bowl, basically. Um, yeah, I, I like that, and uh, I I think that's. I think that's cool. We talked about that sort of thing is just kind of having yes. each event be, and, and I like the idea of each event being its own kind of thing anyway, like make it like build it up a little bit more. Well, and that's um, kind of, no one really plays the series except for a couple of people that are trying to win the series. And well, really the that's only the same that thing that about the series is the people that are in the running for it at the end of the year. They're like, Hey, what is the series? Yeah. And yeah. Look at the beginning. It's not why they choose to go places. Um, well, yeah, no one really cares about. That's the same. That's the same uh, mentality. Like you, you, when you talk to teams and you say, "Hey, does anybody? What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to lower the uh, entrance fee by a hundred bucks, or keep it the same and we get to like boost up the uh, uh, the prize package or something like that?" And everybody, everybody, well, ninety five percent of the teams will say we want to lower entrance fee because those are the guys that aren't even in the running to win the tournaments anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's yep. why that's why sports has divisional titles how stoked are like the cowboys who haven't you know done anything in a long time they're like yeah look at that we're division champions you know or the chargers like come on guys like no one really cares you're not gonna make it past the first round huh to be honest with you but maybe yeah they get t-shirts made but in college sports they are you know in intramural sports right it's it's hard to compare us to the nfl in many ways right i'm you're the one who was bringing it i'm just trying to i'm just trying to stick in your wheelhouse you're the one bringing uh, I, bringing in NFL references. Well, I, you know, I watch all that stuff. I try and see what they're doing, right? Try to emulate the people that are doing better than us, right? Um, just like the Dynasty thing. I want to give some shots, though. I got some shots for Spica and uh, Ed, uh, J-Rap mostly. Mouse wasn't on there. I had to. I watched that damn show with you guys the other day. 
<laughs> you watch um, every show. Yeah. Huh? Don't you watch every no, I show? I only watch the controversial shows. Okay, I can only, okay. You know, I can only do so much of it. And my wife, yeah, she loves when I decide to, like, you know, not only work and then go on my spare time watch the Spick and Dad <laughs> show. Sure. She likes um, the show. We're fans. She loves it the best when Bear's on there. That's what we <laughs> He's only been on <laughs> once, and that was a controversial a situation. The roof. So, it's... So, and, and I saw Alex on there. We're going to talk about player movement. How's that? We'll talk about like that. Real, thing. real quick before you, before you jump into that, because this is still on topic with what you're about to tell. Can you also, while you're um, ranting, venting, explaining stuff, can you also uh, maybe illustrate as to your best of your ability, what's in it for the pro owners? <laughs> nothing. So somebody, somebody pro. asked me that. Yeah. <laughs> so the pro owners get nothing. It's like, so the NBA, they do, I think it's 58%, right? So 58% of what a team makes is what that team's salary cap is, right? 58%. So (coughs) the only team in paintball, and this is why Dynasty is my favorite team, that's eating what they kill is Dynasty. They bring in sponsorship. That's how much money the players can get paid. It's not healthy, and I'm not picking on the owners or whatever of the teams, but the fact that they pay more than what, they can ever get back an income should be just a bonus. We should be thanking them. Right? We yeah. should be happy. And we have limited time here. We have like three minutes. Um, <laughs> we started anyhow, so I'm going to give you my analogy for the J-Rap, the J-Rap situation, and, and you're going to follow this a little bit too. So basically, last year, we're just going to say that you guys are – we'll say you're in a relationship, right? You got a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no mine's, mine's angry good. too. You're living at the beach house, right? And then she comes home one day and she says, oh, by the way, I just met a guy in the bar and I think he's richer than you, so I'm going to leave you. And Uh you're like, wow, I thought we had something going on there. I'm going to go ahead and leave me, I guess, but that sucks. And then not a year later, but one month later, she comes back and says, oh, guess what? He wasn't as rich as I thought he was. Dude, that happens all the time. Hold on. I come back and he like, (laughs) so like, why me? There's a million other guys out there. There's actually 19 other pro teams you could go play for. Well, you're the only pro team with a beach house that might also win. So will you take me back? Sure, I'll take you back. And then not nine months later, you show up again and say, guess what? I found another guy that's richer than you again, and I'm going to leave. And then you guys are surprised that the people are a little bitter that you did that. Now, I don't blame you for doing it. Well, I don't fall into that because I didn't go back to my same team. Oh, so much better. <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't sorry. go back to ni- so to impact. A different guy that had a beach house and had a really good chance of winning the World Cup. I mean, and it sounds like though we're also play. talking about a ten. Like your girlfriend's a ten, and and translates well, to paintball, p- translates to paintball but skills. Then, okay, so let's just say that's your thing. But then you guys say we want to go to a team that we want to help and kind of like grow. But yet you're still going to the team that's offered you money. Not one of you guys said let's go play for level up. How about ML Kings? I bet you guys could use some juice. Right? Yeah, but obviously in, being incentivized is great too. <laughs> but you got to stick to one side of the fence. So and I'm going to give you a story before I go. This is my story. So back in the day, I was sponsored by Pro Bowl. We were the fourth best team in the world, right? We were the fourth best team. <laughs> been with Pro Bowl since the beginning. Was right? that the pinnacle? That was the pinnacle for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fourth. Yeah. fourth. Um, so anyhow, so we're ranked fourth in the, in the world. So we get, let's say, 50 grand a year. So Rick Fairbanks is a good friend of mine. He calls me and says, hey, we're going to sponsor the Ironmen because they're ranked number one, and we're going to give them 100 grand." And I said, no problem. So I called him back the next day and said, hey, we're leaving. We're going to go to R.P. Shear. And he's like, why? And I'm like, because they're going to pay me 60. And he's like, well, we've been together since the beginning. I thought we were loyal. And I was like, you either got to pick. We're based on loyalty or we're based on performance because they did better than us, so you paid them more, which I think is fair. Mm-hmm. Now someone's going to pay me more, so I'm going to go and leave, which I also think is fair. Or we could go on loyalty, and then since I've been with you the longest, I should get paid the most. But you can't pick and choose what side of the fight you want to be on. So if you're going to jump teams for money, which is perfectly fine, I, I want you to make more money. We all want you to make more money. You just got to understand that people are going to be a little frustrated when you do that. And as another note on that, when you guys go on these shows and talk about how much you're not getting and how much you got screwed by the Latin Saints. The single largest drop off in spectator and fan, uh, whatever engagement was the baseball strike because everybody got frustrated with a bunch of people playing a game 
complaining about how much money they got so they wouldn't go play the game anymore. So, and, and I'm just as my advice, and I'm not picking on you here in general, right? But some of us got it good. Some of you guys are getting paid a decent amount of money. 90% of the pro guys aren't making anything. And 99.9% of the people playing baseball are getting a dime. So we should be a little happy that we're getting some money out of it and be a little more gracious about it. How's that? And now I also see why regular sports have agents, right? Because watching you guys talk about the money side of it was like painful. I'm not going to lie. Painful. So get an agent. That's my advice after all this. Nah, there's not enough money to have an agent. Yeah, you can't afford it. Yeah, you can't afford it. That is <laughs> what, 10 to 20%? I got you. That's next step. I'll get maybe, you now, maybe, maybe now. Maybe now. Maybe now. working on now. Um, um, I'm also going to give another little shout out to the, uh, I think Bart, Randy, and Dave took a little grief in this, right? And it, it's really, we're really lucky to have those guys. And I know I work for them and that's a whole big deal, but like they could fire me tomorrow. And I would come right back on the show and say, and I would say, still say, I think they're the best thing for baseball right now. They have donated so much of their money and their time to make the game better. Mm -hmm. And I think we owe them something for that, right? At least a little bit of respect out of it. You know what I mean? Because I think they have done a lot. And are they perfect? Absolutely not. Do I agree with everything you do? Absolutely not. But we're still better off with them. They're, they're the best things out in baseball in a long time. We've had a lot of people help. Dave Youngblood did a lot. Richmond did a lot. You know, Jim Lively did a lot. So what's he going to do? That is Deborah and Ryan Christie did a lot. But they are currently the number one people supporting what we all love. Yeah, so. I think I think I think you're on to something there. It, it is it is true. I mean, the amount of money that they've spent and, and a lot of it's internal. Right. Obviously, they, they spent a good amount to help prop up the league. But, uh, you know, taking care of all the guys who have played on their rosters, I think heat kind of keeps theirs pretty tight they don't have as, as much uh turnover as as impact does but it's definitely uh certainly if you're if you have an opportunity and you're in there it's it's one of those paintball dreams and and look this is this is very close in similarity as far as like contract values and all of this that the other uh to to a lot of other individual sports i mean i can take surfing as a great example like i surf a lot i'm not getting paid to surf i'm paying to do it same with snowboarding but there are guys that do it better than me who get paid and i'm good for them that's exactly why sponsorship exists uh formula formula one is probably the closest while the dollar figures are substantially t different but like formula one those guys who are running those things are fans of the sport like mark like bart like uh uh yeah. you know um alex <clears throat> like randy all those guys like alex and myself fans of the sport to the point where we're actually ending up to pay for everybody else to play and then hopefully and this is to answer one of the one of the questions that we had about what is the what is an owner getting in exchange with the exception of dynasty because we actually uh do have a store um i know x factor paintball park does as well but for the most part those guys are doing it because they want to win and they want to see the guys around them and the guys who they support win also and be successful in that so there's a lot there's a big value to that now if you've got a buttload of cash you know and you can afford a uh, you, you got a buttload of cash, but you can't afford a uh, in, in, uh, a Formula One team, a car. Uh, you go, a yeah, yeah like, uh, buy a paintball team. It's substantially cheaper, and you get a lot more camar camaraderie. You know, you get a lot out of it. Uh, you know, Pando is another great example. Like he all, funds all it. Owners. Yeah, all, all the, owners, the owners, right? Yeah. A lot of them are exactly. doing it, especially if you're paying out of pocket as a passion project, and that's something that you're what you're getting out of that is. The sense of camaraderie and the and the ownership and the idea that that you're building something along with these other people. Now, some of the people kind of hold that over other other guys' heads, you know, when they're like, "Well, I pay you to do this," but for the most part, I do feel that there uh, there there is a value in there. It just depends on how rich you are to understand if that is actually valuable to you or not. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I pick on everyone, right? But I, I mean, I think everybody understands. It's just sometimes we got to get reminded, you know, how how good we have it. Um, so. I'm going to have to end this. Is there any really, really crazy questions I'm going to get asked right now? Uh, if anybody has any crazy questions like for Tom. Is looking to wear me out right now. Yeah, let him have it. Okay. I was just wondering why you're doing this in your bathroom with the shower right next to you. It's not a shower. It's a closet. <laughs> that might be a shower curtain. might look like a shower curtain. That's my uh, window. You know why? Because I run paintball tournaments and we don't make any money. So... Um, <laughs> Next time I'll go to my real mansion and show you how it rolls. <laughs> well, I do believe though, and that's actually a good point, Tom. And I, I, I was actually given. Who else? I, I was kind of busting their balls about it too. 
you know, you got to get like a little bit of a light thing. And, a, and like maybe I know you're holding it looks like you're holding your phone because I keep seeing you flip. The, the, yeah, my phone. yeah. And I see you flipping yeah. off the notifications uh, every so, so often. Like, let's I get you a thousand of these shows and no one it, makes me hold a phone. But you let's get let's get like a real like. Fred Schultz has got a better system. He's got like. <laughs> but that's what makes our like, show like good. Yeah, this yeah. Is on you. I mean, at least it's prop it up me. next to a book or like I something. Have a good, I have a good like screenshot for like all the other formats. I know. I've, I've had a Zoom call with you. I, I've seen it. Yeah. I, yeah, I see that you've had, I, you figured out the fault, virtual but, background. Know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so this is on us. This is on us. Yeah, because you guys got the ghetto system here. Yeah. I, I can't help you. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so, fair enough, fair enough. In the in right. the meantime, if you just get like a like a bottle, right, and you can just put your phone right next to it and just kind of leans it up against there. Well, I'm also charging it because before oh, you texted oh. me what so was going on, I didn't know that my yeah. phone had to be up. So because I was on the phone all day. Cut my insurance deals. All right. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming by. Well, thanks. I was no, hoping right, that you guys. Well, good luck. Who's your? I, do, who, I hold do on. hope AC Diesel does great. By the way, I hope they win the first tournament. We two, will. Two great. questions. Who is your? Uh, who are your top two favorite people in paintball? That's a tough one. You mean players or just industry people? I guess it could be a person. It could be the guy that uh, you know. I don't know. I would say Alex Fragey. Okay. Wow. wow. Um. Ryan could move on that list, but he has some old history stuff. It's not as fun. Um, <laughs> what did I do? Um, you were just meaner when you were younger. Oh, Alex wow. always been nice. Okay. Um, All right. Get that a lot. <laughs> that's a tough one. Second person, um, it, can, you know, it could be a, it could be a tie. Could be a tie for yeah. Um, I'm just going with you, right. Alex. Okay. Who are your <laughs> least two favorite? Who are your least two favorite people in paintball? Not answering that. Come on. Nope, nope. But you already dropped a lot. It gets made after that. They're gonna be it's because Tom Gold doesn't like us. Um, <laughs> well, we yeah, all know no. who the number one is. <laughs> Who's the number one? I forget. What would yeah, you start yeah. with a D? I'm not yeah. saying anything. No, same uh, same last I mean, name as my first name. I don't oh, like Damon yeah. Ryan, but I love Damon Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then who would you? Okay. Then who else? Who else? Who would the other person be? I, I don't know who else. I don't like. <laughs> All right, Tom. <laughs> you can't remember right now. Can't remember right now. Maybe next time. All right. All right, All right Tom. Guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Dude. Good. Good. <laughs> good luck turning it off, old man. Yeah, no, no <laughs> Just trying to push the buttons. Should we get Alex on here? Yeah, let's get Alex on. All right, Tom Cole, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was good. You know, I, I'm still really excited about that uh, that insurance thing. I think that's gonna be that is like probably one of the biggest things in paintball. I would say. Yeah. Like, no, that's I, that's in a long time. All right. Oh, here we go. Number one. Here Tom goes. Cole's number one. Here goes. Dude, look at that, man. Wow. wow. Yeah, come oh, on. He, uh, uh, Let's I hear it. I feel bad I've been being so disingenuous to him all these years. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending to be nice. Like, how can I How can I get Tom to like us so uh, so the ref gives so the ref gives us good calls? Yeah. I, it was but, It was really It was really forward thinking of you to be nice to him since 2098. Knowing that, knowing that, twenty five years later, you were finally it was going to pay off on the Spick and Span show. So, for someone saying that they like you more than me, uh, well, a good interview, man. I uh, appreciate that. I, you know, I, I do appreciate Tom's candor, and he's like willing to get out there and, and take punches, and um, you know, to do it all um, while he's in his bathroom taking a crap is pretty amazing. <laughs> it did look like a shower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's funny, dude. I thought you were gonna ask him some poignant, like, serious question. You're like, uh. <laughs> I was keeping that one yeah. in my back pocket till the end. That was good. You really, you like to use that one fly toilet paper from the por- uh, toilet paper from the porta potties at the tournament? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever there's leftovers, that would have been a good. That would have been a good plug for him. Is be like, look, I'm so conscious about spending money. I keep all the extra toilet paper from all the porta potties, yeah. and I bring them home. <laughs> That's what type yeah, of tight budget we're looking great. at. That's I, yeah. I do, great. I do appreciate his opinion, though. I mean, you know, the, the whole paintball player salary thing is sort of an artificial economy based on the interest of a few individuals, right? Like, you know, Bart, Randy, and whoever else, you know, wants to play the game. You know, all it takes is, you know, them waking up one morning with a headache to be like, you know what, I'm over it. Right. Um, but you know Bart and Randy, I feel like they're in. They're they're lifers, man. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're 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 in there. So um, yeah, I uh, you know it is kind of a strange 
paradigm that, that continues to change and move. And yeah, there are, you know, a handful of players that are, um, for lack of a better term, better term, hired guns. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. All good. It is, it is frustrating though, when you're like trying to run a business and, and make it work. And, you know, one of those guys comes in and throws down, uh, enough money for a single player than your whole team makes on sponsorship. Yeah. You're like, fuck. Yeah, like, <laughs> dude, you know what we could do with that amount of money for our whole team? Like, dude, just buy our team. You know? Ah, dude, I tell people that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just buy our team. The, player, the players come with the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, uh, about their, uh, their uniforms? Are you designing those? What uniforms? Oh, the, the NXL is, uh, they're doing uniforms, staff, staff uniforms from here on out. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear that. What oh, does that mean? That's smart. Well, he was saying like, cause he's easy. Tom's like easy to spot out. Like, right. He walks right, around he with his, 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 his exact shirt. same collared shirt every day, yeah. this and that. And then, uh, um, he was like, if you're trying to figure out like who to kind of complain to, obviously he's the easiest one to find. But like when you're trying to try to find like, where's Chris rail, someone will be like, Oh, you have a score problem? Go find Chris Rail. And you're like, who the fuck is Chris Rail? Like, mm-hmm. You know? But uh, if everybody's wearing kind of like, it's a little bit more professional looking. If, you know, these people, yeah. the refs are wearing red or these guys are wearing blue or those guys are wearing white. It's kind of kind of gets yeah. you out there. It guess it makes sense. I like that. I mean, if you go to a store, there's people that wear in uniforms, throw on some pieces of flair. Mm-hmm. You got to have uh, at least 20 pieces of flair on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's easier than... Like when you go to Nordstrom and no one, everybody just kind of like dressed however they want. And you're like, uh, do you, uh, do you, do you work here? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of can I help you? I don't know, man. <laughs> um, Chris said, how much would it take to buy Dynasty as a team? A mm, few million. You know? Yeah. I don't know. A couple mil? Yeah. 1.5? Nah, way more Two than million. that. <laughs> yeah. 2.5? To me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll sell you all the codes to the bank account for 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. How's that? Wow. How, how is this beard of yours? So, uh, so full. Uh, what are you I been doing? Was, uh, you know, I, I had, I, I was watching Just my kids for a whole week straight last week. So, uh, you know, I, I aged about 10 years in, in one week. It just looks a little thicker and a little like darker. Like you've been kind of combing it in. Uh, no. oil. Just, yeah, yeah. My, a lot of people. Yeah, you got you got beard, beard oil in there. Or what's going on? What I like to do is I like to grow it out until it's time for the paintball tournament, and then I shave it, and I'm like, man, look how young I look, and then it gives me false hope that I'm actually young. That is a good call. I do like that. Yeah. I was doing. I was trying to do that with my hair. Didn't work out. Didn't work yeah. out. Dude, shout out to Verbal in there. He was uh, out there getting some shots. Yeah, you guys had practice, huh, Kyle? We did. Did you talk about that? Uh, no, we haven't really yeah, yet. We haven't really yet. Yeah. I, about shot, to. I saw that shot where you bunked J-Rab. Yeah, yeah. I think I bunked oh, yeah, like nine yeah. people. He kind of just, he walked awesome. off, kind of like, oh, you got me. Well, uh, Shane was in the corner behind him, and I slid out to the corner, shot Shane, so I just ran, ran J-Rab. <laughs> thought, he, yelled, he thought he, he had backup, so. What's up? Was he mad at Shane? No. Um, what's, uh, what do you, you got planned for Valentine's Day? How are you just, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was thinking about throwing on my paintball jersey and uh, doing some romancing with them. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have a red red jersey. Throw on my Spick and Span show T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I like she that. Yeah. No, no, but no plans. What's going on? Is she coming to the office? What's going on here? Uh, yeah, I'm working. That's the most romantic thing you could do, man. Mm-hmm. To working? What? Do you, what exactly are you doing over there? The head honcho. Uh, hanging out playing Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in just... fact, there is there is a bottle of uh, of whiskey in the other room. Oh, actually. I know there is. You guys, are, you guys are like a regular old bar in here. I feel like every time yeah, you're on the yeah. show, you're like, I right, uh, we'll have a little shot here. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yes. So what what just happened, big man? Uh, yeah, I got some notes. Yeah. What was it? Yeah, what? I have I have a team of writers in the other room that are uh, <laughs> working working on your jokes. There's a teleprompter behind working the screen. Jokes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one, shit, you're fired. You're all fired. <laughs> you're all fired. Um. Oh yeah, rare eagle. He knows. I'll go get it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you don't have anything, I think. No, no, we're uh, you know, we try to we try uh, to make this uh, yeah, you know, responsible show. Goes. There he goes. Hey. Yeah. Look at that. What's all that stuff on the counter there? What do you got? What's in there? I just got a date. Oh, yeah. Here we go. 
I did. Uh, huh? <clears throat> All right. Well, so how was practice? It was good. We just spent a, a lot of time on Saturday talking, uh, actually, in the hotel conference room. So we did like a half day, like a, a 12 to 5. And then, um, but just played ourselves pretty much the majority of Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then played the paintball fit team, which is, I guess, some of the old uh, AC Dallas guys um, that are playing semi pro right now. That was one of those teams that missed that pro spot again. Um, we played them for a few points and at the end of Sunday, but it was good. It was fun. That field's was awesome. Fun? Yeah, how's that field? Good. Yeah. What's that? Was it as fun as dynasty practice or no? Dynasty practices are pretty fun. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, dude, we're going to miss you, bro. I'm going to miss you guys. Dude, Alex, you got a bunch of people taking shots with you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. You got Meter. Meter's going to be kicking one back with you. Looks I like didn't take any shots yet. Nick Sloviak is. We can, add, we can is. add Meter in well, here. Well, you know, I did hear, Tom, are we within Are we, Are we? we in within the uh, insurance period yet? No. The health insurance period? No, that's no. two weeks, right? Um, I believe it's uh, when you purchase your ID card. Do they cover you on a DUI? <laughs> I don't know if it's legal fees. I think it's I think it's health health insurance, not legal fees. Uh, yeah, Tom, I tried to use my uh, my ID. Uh, I just got in a little bit of a snafu at the border. Um, <laughs> well, I got into the fight with a with a flight attendant on the plane, and I got arrested. And uh, they didn't really, um, they didn't really, wasn't a get out of jail free card. <laughs> Timothy Bangs is in the house. Dude, oh, did, yeah. you, did you get his headband shipped out or what? You old schmuck? I went out, out yesterday. Dude, did you hear uh, Harris Hussein uh, is on the Russians now? Dude, that is un-American, bro. What is that? <laughs> I mean, what do you think of that? You know, Dude, that's funny dream, because I man. thought that, uh, I don't want to use the word hate, but I thought the Russians really disliked NYX. Like they were like, they're changing know, their image getting, around. They're changing yeah. their image. They got they realize that they've got an image of Russia that they need to kind of like kind of wipe the slate clean with. So if you get a guy like Harris on the team, you're like, huh, that's a really strange thing. Yeah. We'll start talk. We'll stop talking Russian. about the other stuff. Yeah. And uh, and then the cars. Uh, uh, Cozy Rev is on. Revo. Revo? Feels yeah. like the whole team's getting kind of kind of shellacked. You got, you got something for us? <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, Roman. Come on. They want you, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right, anyway. Come on. Let's talk about this Spick and Span show. All right, here's a premise. It's the worst show ever in history, but you have to watch it anyway. Ready? Go. The Spick and Span show. It's the worst show ever, but you still have to watch it. <laughs> and you don't have to salute Hitler while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know what you guys are up to in there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need to genuinely think of that fucking situation. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to, to um, scrub this. This Mr. Uh, Lurt Sima, who uh, sent me this beautiful bottle of whiskey along with some other gifts. Let's make it a make it a little wet lunch here. Um, yeah, you know, I don't even drink, and this, you know, someone sent me this. What I, am I supposed to do with it? Look at it. Yeah, that's what yeah, I, I feel like he, say, he says that every time before he starts drinking. Mm -hmm. Before he gets sauced. I actually only drink for the Spick and Span show because it's the only way I can get through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Plus, at least when you get home get home to your wife, you'll be like, hey, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works when you hey. come home with booze on your breath for you? <laughs> hey, babe. Oh, yeah. Reese's sticks. My favorite. <laughs> Look at this. Reese's, Reese's, Reese's sticks. Reese's sticks? No. Reese's sticks? Dude, these will blow your mind, bro. Hold on. Do we need to post our address up so that people can send us uh, all sorts of uh, goodies? Speaking of which, dude, check these things out. Slam pods. Oh, we need to open that. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, how sick of these. Remember you want to open came it? Out? Mm -hmm. We're coming. Yeah, I remember that. Dude, I remember seeing these things. I remember seeing these things in... Uh... Okay, I told Sloan that she can come on the show at 5 o'clock. JT, they're like, don't show these to anybody. Or we're like, those yeah. are lame. They're Get like, your booty in no, here. No, no, they're great. Come here. Hey, bring your balloons. Right, Bottoms up, pal. Bottoms up. Cheers, guys. Dude, Cheers. we have we have a PO box. Oh well, she's pissed. She's wow. pissed. How is that? The shot glass too says Elizabeth Town Bourbon's backyard. David Lurtzen, thank you so much, and I'm gonna chase it with a Reese's stick. 
Yeah, we should do um, mail time, and you can you can send stuff to the PO box, and we can open it up. Yeah, Alex, I've got something for you um, from Michael Jackson. I can't show it. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, you're gonna really like it. I actually might just send it up to your house, addressed to Margaret. Mm. I don't even know what you're saying, but these recess checks are like are pretty, are pretty. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you left like a bunch in this bag. You bunch left a bunch of these things at. at at my house. What are we supposed to do with these? Are we giving these away? Or who's the, who are these Yeah, for? give them away, dude. Let it rip. I don't remember. All right, tight. Yeah, after that one shot, you already can't remember? Mm. Slam pod. Uh, like, this one's still got the... Cherry bubbly. I think it's got the this original uh, rubber band on there. Rubber, original rubber bands on there. The so, braces rubber band? J- Jason for that one. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, the ones that go on your brace- braces. <laughs> uh, so, Kyle, did you get paid yet? I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Cash? Damn, yeah, we yeah we can't we can't tell him exactly how he got paid and then also give everybody our address. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Kyle got a hundred thousand dollars cash. Uh, anybody wants to send us some free stuff or come beat us up? Our address is uh, sixteen forty one. <laughs> yeah. Easy mafia, easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chill, chill, Dude, chill. Shout out to Mafia Productions too. Go check out his channels. He's been putting up some funny stuff uh, recently on his on his YouTube. Uh, yeah, YouTube. Um, he's got a um, a, uh, a oh, his Patreon. little podcast thing. Yeah, yeah. Those guys doing uh huh. With hatch, that guy's funny. The dude with the mustache. Yeah, I saw I saw them send uh, send the farewell to the Crocs <laughs> out there uh, in one of those things. I still don't quite understand Crocs. I'm not I'm not behind those yet. Do you own Crocs? No, but my father in law owns them. <laughs> And sometimes when I'm over at their house, I use them to go outside and clean up dog poop, and they're pretty comfortable. Yeah, that's about that's about as far as I think you can go with those. I mean, I I wear them. I mean, I'm, I mean, it's not like I have style anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, Danny boy asked a question. Oh yeah, there. sorry. What do you think about bringing back the center flag so there's a focal point and awarding one point for a flagpole and one point for a hang? Dude, I'm the king of the flag. Yep, I like that. That's exactly how we got a, uh, our Mustangs. You know Mustangs. how many flagpoles I've got, dude? I've got so many flagpoles. You have no idea. Dude, let me paint the picture for you guys. It was it was like pouring rain, okay? We were playing, was it Strange or Farside? Strange. Playing, uh, all we needed was a flagpole. All we was needed was a, a flagpole, and I thought, I think it was one body. We need a flagpole yeah, yeah, and one body. One, yeah, one or two we, so we needed to shoot. So back then, you get like 30 points of the flagpole, Two points of body and then fifty points for the hang. Mm. So we needed like thirty-two points, and we win. So uh, the cars. yeah, the cars. This is for this is for this is for Mustangs. Mm. Second place is big screen TV. So <laughs> there's a pretty big pay gap in between the two of those things. And so uh, we're playing on the airball field, and I think it was on gravel. Wasn't it on gravel? Anyway, I feel <laughs> like it was on gravel. So the, it and- was on. It was on like um. It was like really bad. Um, Poor uh, ground with a lot of little rocks in it. Right. Okay. There's gravel all around the area. Yeah, there was like, it was basically gravel, gravel with like, like gravel. It was like basically gravel with like little pieces of grass coming through the yeah, ground. So like old gravel. It's gravel. Yeah. Gra- let's just go with gravel. Um, the original. <laughs> yeah. A. Answer A. Uh, and then so the center, the five man field. There's like you got refs. You got a bunch of camera guys. All this. We we're shooting these ninety nine dollar spiders that every time you should pull the trigger, a gigantic cloud of CO two would come out, and. Uh, there was a center lay down roly poly, so a can. Cans used to not always be stand ups, so they were lay downs. Mm. I don't know why they don't lay down cans anymore, right? Yeah, we need to bring that back. That's we need to talk true. to Trozen, right? Why aren't the cans lay downs? Yeah, roly yeah, poly. Cans a good bunker. They they don't put those uh, tall doors on their side either, do they? I think they do. I don't uh, know if they have. Oh, not the tall ones. No, yeah. no, no. They put the little ones in the snake. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, anyway. Lay down. There's a lay down. Yeah, just everybody who's uh, who's drinking with Al, go ahead and grab one. Um, go ahead and grab. Eagle rare. Go ahead and grab a, a, a shot of rare eagle. And so there's a there's a lay down roly poly, lay down can. All right, with a big big flag, like it was like a five foot flag draped <laughs> over the middle of it. Alex runs straight up, right on the off the break, runs straight up the middle, and literally he grabs it. And as soon as he pulls the flag down, a hand comes over the top. No, that's not how it went down. Yes. There was no, a guy on the other I side of you. Tra- there off the break. There was a little nipple in front of it. Okay. Because I knew they knew what we needed, right? Right. So they were going to be shooting over the middle off the break, so I didn't go there. 
and Kenny got shot off the brake. Uh huh. And he went to the dead box. And so then I, I go to the little nipple, and I, and I think BC or maybe you were in there with me. I can't remember. Um, and I shoot a couple balls, and then I run up there, grab the flag, and I hear Kenny go, yeah, because he was in the dead box. And then instantly <laughs> after that, my back got stitched up, and someone bunkered me in the back. No, he, I, he, then, his hand was over the top trying to grab it, and then he bunkered you. And that was our one I kill. Do, I didn't do that. Yeah, that was our one kill. <laughs> All I felt was the sting in my back. <laughs> and then I remember going to the dead box and breaking all the paint in my gun because we had a chrono off. And I was just like smashing my squeegee down my barrel, just annihilating it. So, I, you know, in case you get a hot gun, <laughs> anything could happen in the rain. I wasn't going to lose out on a hot gun. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Chronoing off hot guns. Do you think we should bring back the snake, the like actual snake with the tongue flap? I mean... Yeah, why Dude, not? No, no one would know. They wouldn't have. They would have no clue how to, what to do with that thing. How about the Super Bowl? Did you guys watch that? Yeah. You think that was a bad holding call, man? Yeah, kind of. Damn, man. Imagine that. Did you see? Yeah. Uh, did you see that Juju Smith uh, uh, trolled that guy? And have you seen those little those those uh, fake two from things? The PayPal troll posted a couple of them. It was like uh, he did one of A Rod, which was really funny. It was I think like, so. it was yeah. like so. Basically, it's it's like uh, the meme things, right? Where you post something. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna find the one of. Uh, by the way, I think that's crap. The paintball troll wasn't creator of the year. By, by yeah, uh, agreed, you know, agreed, agreed. He should at least troll, got nominated. Like, dude, I'm I'm yeah. That one's good. Yeah, honorable mention of paintball troll right now. Whoever that dude is, he's fucking on. Awesome. I I agree. So look. So here's one. Of, here's one of me. I don't even know if this is... Turn it sideways. No, like... Huh? Like, angle like this. I need to turn the... The brightness down, I think. Well, anyway, get it. You'll get it. Paintball troll. Yeah, shout out to Paintball Nerd, too. So, um, I've fallen for you, and I can't help it, and that's me. Follow him. And then... And then here's one of A-Rod. It says, uh... This one's good. This one of A-Rod. It says, uh... I love for you... Ne- uh, I love you for now. And... Well, let's just see how the first event goes. <laughs> and so, uh, Juju Smith posted one of the guy who got the holding call, and uh, it said something like, "I will always hold you from here to uh, or something, something silly." Like I forgot what it was. Was Aaron at practice? He wasn't. He'll be at the next, the next two. Um. All right. Nice. So you got uh, Kyle. You got uh, you got something. Oh yeah, we got a. Uh, thank you for reminding me. I would have forgot to take the password off. We yeah. got a tiger wear drop right now at five, <coughs> um, with these one of one Exodus headbands we're releasing. We have nine of them, but we're only releasing four today. And then our other um, skull headbands, the catacomb. But this is one of them. We're already packed up here. Um, so these are the special ones that are like like kind of yeah we only they're multiple, one of one multiple yeah. multiple kind of pattern four, four of those on today's yeah I think drop. a lot of work to set that one um and then the other thing that we just released is we're doing um free domestic shipping now on all orders so it's a good change up and it's just live right now yep just put it live took the password off. So I'll throw the link in there. Okay. Go get yourself a tiger wear. Aha. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, the juju thing said, I'll hold you when it matters most. <laughs> 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 so I botched that one. <laughs> Damn. Um, yours is funny, though, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm falling and I can't get up for you. I How about the halftime show, Rihanna? Were you into that? Uh, nah. I thought that the, it was all right. the, ba- the dance, backup dancers thing was kind of cool. Little sperms. Yeah, no, I was, I was, kind of, I was, I was feeling it. I, I appreciate like somebody going out there and just doing a hundred percent on their own. Like, I mean, yeah, there was a spectacle and all, but like, it was all her. Oh, I see. Okay. See, I feel like that was uh, a lot of people's complaints is that it wasn't as like big of a show. Yeah, I agree. That's what people were complaining about. But I liked it. I think, I think she carried it. I, I, I like. I'm, I'm feeling Rihanna. I mean, last year was really cool with all those. Yeah. All those. Yeah. And then all her hits, though. I mean, dude, she, she played like whatever you know 10 10 uh, like a medley of 10 songs they're all huge hits yeah it's pretty Rihanna, cool when they when they when she got hoisted up on that platform it looked like uh when they debate stuff in star wars and they're on the floating things 
For sure, yeah, yeah. the Senate, Black yeah. Senate. Yeah. Oh, dude, speaking of which, uh, Al, have you seen I the... I will make it legal. Have you uh, seen uh, the list of the hotel or the houses that we're going to rent in in, uh, in uh, Florida for the team? No. Dude, you need to go houses? over... To, you need to go over to Crandall. I know, I don't want houses either. No, we need hotels, not I know, I, I, I hate it, but whatever. We're getting houses. We're getting, we're getting hotels. Uh, sorry, we're getting houses, but... One of them, the one that I sent in, had like a full Star Wars themed like room, full full deal. Dude, speaking of Star Wars, bro, you're never gonna believe this. <laughs> I got a box the other day, uh-huh. and it's it's from Rocky Cagnoni. Uh huh. Dude, look at this thing. Wow. It's the OG. I mean, I'm pretty sure this was his when he was a kid. No way! It's look got at that. All the action figures, all the original thing. Dude, I've been playing with these for like two weeks. R2 D2. Dude, Dude you got Regal's a Jawa on in your it. collection? I don't think so. Look at this. Original Jawa. <laughs> Who did he? Come on. on backwards. Here. Like, my, up, my cousin had one of those. That exact yeah. same one. Wow. Dude. Yeah. I was so jealous. Ten people. There's you, Ryan Greedo. <laughs> Which one are you? Dude, that hey, thing looks yeah, like for it's sure, worth. C-3PO. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder this how guy, many I, more of those are out there. Yeah, I am C-3PO. You know, it's funny you say that, Ryan, because this the character of C-3PO represents a human being, like the the, the mentality of the an average person, right? Like he's just mm-hmm. afraid and worried all the time and just yeah. trying to get by. Like, yeah, he's <laughs> just trying to get by. <laughs> that's basically the psyche of, of a, 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 like he's not he's not a hero. He's not altruist. He's not a super villain. Like he just. Just an average schmuck. You're right, I have C3PO. <laughs> <laughs> and you got through the day, just needs a little bit of oil. <laughs> Take another shot, everybody. Take another shot. Yeah. Do we sell out or what? The, of the fire? Yeah, the, the, the special ones? The special ones are gone. Special Quick. ones are gone. Dude, Derek Weagle, support, go. Did you see what I put in the in the first, show description? Got the first order. He was on it, right? On the dot. On the dot. Did you see what I put in the show description? I was thinking, hold on, I'm, I'm going to pull I'm going to pull, I'm gonna pull, up, I'm gonna pull up the show description real quick. But it was basically thanks to all the sponsors, including Derek Weagle yeah. and Nick Sloviak. <laughs> Dude, Derek Weagle, man. He's a lord. Yeah, he is. Um, hey, I wanted to answer this question really quickly before uh, uh, we move around too much. So, actually, this is cool cuz I um, one of the mother is actually brady rivera's mom so brady's a uh champs club member and his mother sent gave me this little printout about uh like this little kind of kind of concept about uh internships in paintball and how it could be it could be worthwhile for kids to like learn from pro teams and go out there learn how to practice learn how to run the team do all that stuff and someone else sean countryman also mentioned something about why don't pro teams have practice squads and not travel as much to other uh, other teams so they can practice each other during the season, um, and it kind of like that that reminded me of this because I meant to bring this up when I went to Miami because that's when she gave me that that information about it. She's like, it would be kind of a cool idea as if like you know some divisional kids who are able to do it could come to like at least and now especially because if teams are gonna have two weekends of practice and the first weekend isn't like you're just kind of like figuring it out, if you have like a like an intern is what it would be basically who would come to the practices, learn a little bit, kind of like play a little bit. And then in between when they're playing at the, if, if they're even playing at events at NXL events, um, they either come to the, come to the events as like a, as a pit player or like a 12th man or 10th, 11th man, or they go in, they come in and, uh, and just kind of join the team when they can just to kind of get some experience. I thought, I thought it was a cool, cool kind of concept. And you know, um, I don't know. What do you think? I wasn't listening. Yeah, I know. You're drunk already. <laughs> no worthless. This guy. There it is. All right, everybody. Take another shot. shot. Shout out to Doghouse Studios. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> Rose petals, baby. <laughs> Rose petals. <laughs> oh, man. Well, so how was it down at Paintball Fit? Have you ever been there before? Yeah, I went... Um... <sighs> God, I think that was 2021. I went there and played that. They have a tournament where you they you get to play with. It's like D4, D3 teams, and they all get one pro. Um, it's like this big exhibition tournament. So uh, who was your pro? I was the pro. 
<laughs> but you know what's funny is uh, this kid, Logan Hansel, young kid, uh, he yeah, was on the team, uh, and now he's now... Um, he's pro now. Yeah, he's on AC Diesel. He's funny, he was like... We were all sitting there. Did you know? Did you know he was on it before you went down there? You're like, all right, I am. No, Kyle. no, I did. <laughs> hey, I'm Kyle played, here. I did. All right, Kyle brings out his pen and he's like, okay, where do you want me to sign? <laughs> did you play the name game? <laughs> no, I knew everybody's name. Um, okay. But he was like, run, run, run it down the list then. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Kyle. Let's I can see. do it. Name your teammates. I'm not going to do that right now. Baginski. I know him. Sleepy. Ice. Dopey. Ice. Grayson Gladstone. He's yeah, not on the team. Baginski is ice. Yeah, he's ice. See? Yeah. I'm on my shit. I just told you that. No, you, I said ice, and then you said, yeah, he is ice. No, I said Baginski, and you're like, and yeah, there's ice. Too. No, I said, no, yeah, no, ice. Guy. It's the same guy. I, yeah, I said ice. Yeah. Andy? You got Andy Horvath? Yep. He had no a little Johnson. wrist inj- injury. He didn't play this weekend, actually. I um, But, hold on. I have a funny story about Logan. We're sitting there, like, gearing down at the end of Sunday and he's like behind me and the whole teams are there and he's like Kyle are you losing your air and I was like you fucking little shit and when everyone starts laughing I'm like yeah everyone here over 30 is losing a little bit of hair thank you and then after that he's like does anybody know who can get uh, cleats for discount I was like I did not anymore <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a funny story with Logan Hansel attached he's to every practice he's asking for discounted cleats and you're making fucking <laughs> <laughs> Dude, buy him some cleats, bro. That's the answer. Listen, Logan, if Kyle doesn't buy you cleats. Buy, hey, buy, buy him cleats, cleats that are half a size too small. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I got you. I got you, dog. <laughs> but Logan played yeah, great. Logan. Yeah. Wasn't that him getting gogged when uh, right before your video? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he played great, but it was just yeah, like, the one sometimes. video you showed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ryan's never been gogged. Oh, Alex, I got you. Uh, I got you this hat. My dad, what? My dad bunkered you. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's what you gotta be doing. Um. Oh. So yeah. is it nice to be together with Mouse again? Goober videos. Yeah. Yeah, I love Mouse. We always have a good time. Um, same with with J Rab too. Um, have a lot of good conversations with Rab, and actually, uh. uh Clint was out there this weekend. He's still he's still recovering a knee injury. Um, he's not going to play the first event, but we did. He said some really insightful, um, wise words through the the meeting we had with the team, um, which I I talked to Clint a little bit, but um, I was really impressed by his just his mindset and his attitude and, and what he had to say. Um, just a really really genuine nice person that that uh, I feel like brings a lot of um, uplifting to his teammates, which was... What did he say? I mean, I'm not going to go into it. Like... Oh. That's, a, just that's talking, a cliffhanger. <laughs> I mean, I just basically gave a bunch of stuff that he... that you could kind of put into any way. I don't know, like... I'm not going to try to mess... like, say his speech and mess it up. Alright. Well... Well, that was pretty cool. And what, who did he play for before this? Why don't you one of uh, Alex's speech at World Cup? Why don't you? I don't say listen it. to his speeches. Dude, Ryan doesn't. Dude, Ryan's like, I know Ryan's just like sitting back there, dude. like, oh god, I can't. This again. The only one I really, I kind of know is the one that was in the HK video a long time ago. With Oliver saying, like, we're dancing blue dragons or something like that. I don't listen to the damn fucking things, dude. <laughs> Ryan gets annoyed by all speeches. I'm trying to focus on the game. You guys are Ryan shouting. Yeah, you guys are shouting. Deflate you. Yeah, he forgot yeah. A-Rod was on our on our team for that 2015 World Cup. Yeah, see? <laughs> Buzzkill. I couldn't tell you either. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I did. I, I mean, remember you You were there. You did the run back. You said that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were there. <laughs> I think I was. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought that... And you shot, you saw uh, excited Greg in the leg and yeah. then he hit the buzzer. Yep. Yep. Damn, the buzzer. That was actually a crazy, that was a crazy ending, dude. Dude, what an insane ending. What a tournament, man. Yeah, that was good. I think that <laughs> video is like the number one paintball video on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's one of the top ones. Five million. Five million? Yeah. Man, we got some rookie numbers then. We got to get some catching up to. Yeah. Those are all Indian web bots. Yeah, well, <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. My Indian web bots aren't working that well. 
don't know if we paid the bill or not. Um, <clears throat> what uh, what do you got cooking up there? Me? Yeah. Like what are you uh, like? What are you doing right now on that that clicky ass click keyboard of yours? Um, I was uh, looking for last minute Valentine's Day present. <laughs> <laughs> Delivers before, yeah, delivers, 6 delivers before 6 p.m. Oh, they picked up. Uh, they picked up Sam Silberg. Did you see that? Who? Oh, uh, infamous. Yeah. Infamous. Oh, infamous. Oh yeah. Yeah, infamous. yeah, yeah. I did see that. Sam's good, dude. Sam's uh, Sam's definitely one of the bright spots on LVL. Um, he did. He did actually buy me a book that I've been reading here. It's a Malcolm Gladwell book, David and Goliath. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Which one are you? Are you David or Goliath? Uh, well, I mean, You're kind of Goliath at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say, uh, Kyle. Mm-hmm. I was read. I was reading your uh, thing. Let me look it up here. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, it. you can DoorDash some cookies. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Googling last minute uh, Valentine's Day presents. Just stop by the CVS, and they have that one like area of like, candy and little uh, hard mm-hmm. boxes mm-hmm. and teddy bears. One time I got my mom a gift from the airport and she called me out like right away. She's like, is this bracelet from the airport? And I was like, how did you know that <laughs> when I was younger? <laughs> yeah, it's still nice. Yeah. 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 Right. It's the thought that counts. No, good, she did. She was just good like, son, she you're was just son. giving me a hard time. You're a good son, bro. Yeah. Shitty hopefully, teammate, hopefully one of the, one of the couple hundred people Best that are watching teammate. this can, can message Margaret and, and remind her that Alex has not yet gotten her a present. <laughs> That'd be pretty killer. Fuck, what am I going to do? I'll bring her a half bottle of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Stumble in. Yeah, fill it up with water. Fill it up with water. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice. It's actually really smooth. It's, you can, it doesn't even really taste like whiskey. Put a bow uh, on it. all the Reese's sticks. Mm-hmm. Can't give her any Reese's sticks. I'm not having those. No wonder you're always in such good shape. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, I, need to, I need to do something about that. I'm going to go skiing next week, though. So. Are you? Where are you going to go? Yeah. Let's do Dude, it. Chris, oh, what up? Um, uh, up to uh, Palisades. There we go. Do you have a Do you have a season pass there or what? Dude, I was just. Uh, no, I've got a couple of tickets that I need to use. I was watching. Uh, um, I was watching some people huck it off that cliff up there, at the top of Palisades. Oh, uh, main street or um. I know. It's, I think it's the one right under the lift, right? Uh no. So there. Oh, that's uh nose to fingers. Yeah, fingers. I thought you used to ride your bike a lot. You don't do that anymore? Nah, man. I wish. I just haven't had the time to. I'm, I'm, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I gotta. Uh, well, we'll give you. Tickets. We'll give you a Tuesday off if it if it means you're gonna hit the gym for fucking thirty minutes. Dude, I went in my garage the other day and I saw. I just looked at my bike and it had two flat tires and I was just like, man. What about your Peloton? <laughs> um. Yeah, that thing's collecting dust. <laughs> I think I'm still paying the bill though. Membership yeah, fee for sure. I canceled my Peloton membership and. And about five or six months later, Camille, I'm like, I'm about, I'm about to sell the thing. It's on offer up. And Camille's like, hey, did you, uh, do you know where the cables went for that thing? I go, huh? You're not using that thing. I'm selling it. She goes, no, don't sell it. I use it all the time. I go, when was the last time you used it? Because I canceled the <laughs> subscription six months ago. <laughs> Dude, we're good, bro. I'll just, you know, I'll give this speech and let Harrison Fry and, and Chris Shear do the work. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Yeah. I'll cry during the national anthem. Yep. No, that's two, a you know <laughs> that's a low blow. Uh, one one uh, one buzzer hit. Good. One buzzer one of your hit. speeches though this year you need to look at Ryan and be like you hear me Ryan and then we'll ask him <laughs> will, the I next will. week <laughs> to just look at him look at me Ryan. Yeah, that'll re- you know, I'll tell you what that'll really ruin the ruin the moment. Look at me Ryan, goddamn it! Look me in the eyes. <laughs> Get off your Instagram. Uh, it's hard to take you Dude, seriously. Do, you smell I'm like doing booze that for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right here. It's, it's this moment right now. Get it up, Ryan. <laughs> Get it up. <laughs> Wait, is the Super Cup done with? It's done with? Or are we still doing no, it? No, we're still doing we're the still Super doing Cup. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're still doing the, What's super, the super Cup. Super Cup. It's the thing that we just just won, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think. I'm, I'm, I could be I could be mistaken though. So basically the Super Cup? That's yeah, what it's called, we did yeah. That World Cup. Yeah, it was a Super Cup. Remember how we were in the bracket with Tauntauns? We had, yeah, we had like an automatic impact. buy. Uh, you oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. So that it's gonna be the same thing again this year. Well, it'll be yeah. yeah. So you gotta win a tournament so you get in that bracket. You gotta win a tournament to get into that bracket. Yeah, otherwise you gotta fight your yeah. way through the. Well, did uh, he? Got he did by not. Standings. Y- yeah, because we won twice. All right, everybody, take another shot with uh, the old Eggman. That wasn't a shot. That was just a. Uh... And Russians. 
didn't because they didn't play a minor, right? Uh, they also didn't win a tournament. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's right. Did they? Wait. No, yeah, no, Impact won. That's Impact right. and yes. us. Those yeah, are for the, some reason. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's all right. It's all right. When they beat us, it felt like you know, it did it did feel place. yeah it did feel like that was it that yeah. was that was it was time to That's hang so it up. sad. Dude, you guys watch this show, um, The Last of Us? Yeah, yeah. I still need to watch that new episode. Holy shit! I meant bro. to do that yesterday. Dude, poor kids, that man. That is one hell don't, of a show, man. Don't talk about the last episode. I haven't seen it. I, I don't. I'm not gonna talk about any episode. I'm just saying the way that that show is done is masterful. I mean, well, zombies they, or whatever and horror, like just the the, the mushrooms. Uh, the, the poignancy and the thoughtfulness of the way that show is written and what they're saying about, you know, humanity and 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 human nature is amazing, dude. Like, I, I was, like, marveling at that. I mean, I was I, I cry every single episode. It's <laughs> yeah. just... The, fir- the first episode was a little, uh, like, a little heavy. On every episode, a little heavy? Every episode is, like, the most, like, you know, tear-jerking drama movie you could possibly find. Yeah. yeah. The one episode was a little... Dude, episode Different. three. Is that yeah, the one? That one was also also that, pretty heavy. The one with the, mean, the two gentlemen amazing. that lived together. I think it was two. Maybe no, that was, was episode three. three. It was three. That was three. With the uh, with about Bill 20, and 20, John. Twenty minutes yeah. too long. Twenty minutes yeah. too long. <laughs> Phil and Frank. Yeah, maybe. But, man, I mean, Phil they, and Frank, baby. Phil and Frank. Yeah, no, yeah. so I I actually Ryan and I have been talking about this. Why when they raided the garage he left the keys He's like take whatever you want and then he took the bolt action rifle yeah bolt action rifle and he has like out of all the things he has like assault rifles machine guns there's like 80 guns on the wall yeah I'll just luckily take she grabbed the pistol to yeah, save it bolt action rifle don't jam dude that's why he uses that that's why he uses that revolver yeah but he can also get like the bolt action rifle and then like a yeah. couple other guns and, and you I know, don't know dude. Yeah. that's the problem with, with these shows is everyone wants to pick it apart who cares dude it's not it has nothing to do with the point of the show well, you want to make sure that this uh, this young lady is in safe hands. There's fungus zombies, dude. Explain that. <clears throat> well, I, I kind of I'm, I'm getting it. I'm 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 kind of behind the fungus zombies. <laughs> I feel like the fungus zombie. It's a real thing. All right, everybody, take another shot. Yeah. Oh, well, Alex is on mute now. Oh, whoops. Am I? No, no, no. Now you you're were. Good. You were for a second. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like that? guns, huh? But he had one of those things for a while. after this. Mushrooms are tight, Weagle says. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good. I, I just watched the last, uh, the most recent episode. <laughs> Dude, that's what's gonna happen. We're all gonna be eating some crap food, and it's gonna turn you into a zombie. That's basically what happens, right? Dude, Sam and Henry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's all right. it, it was in the it was in the dough of Domino's Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Pizza, <laughs> <laughs> Like a Bisquick pancake mix. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what it was. My goodness. I guarantee you it's not in this Eagle Rare whiskey, though. Mm-hmm. Heard that. Nothing, nothing can live in there. <laughs> Heard that. Uh-uh. <clears throat> uh, <Bill> and eggs. <laughs> oh, I actually just watched, you know what movie I watched, which you'll, which you'll, you'll probably not really like but you might is called uh, the new M. Night Shyamalan movie it's called Knock oh, at the yeah. Cabin oh no I don't know that one. Mm. Oh, it was good it was good watch that I watched that with my buddy Mark and we yeah. met, immediately went to the gun store and he bought a gun <laughs> <laughs> Knock at the Cabin yeah alright Roman you want redemption what about Cocaine Bear they're really pushing that movie Did yeah that's, that's actually it was a guest that's why we had Bear on the other week guess. it was a part Snake of the guys maybe I don't know hey uh um let's go Roman come on give us something good ready do you want a minute to prepare? No, I don't. Come on, Roman. This is your big shot, man. The next, the next show. <laughs> this is it. This is the last big and span show. We might not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Done yeah we're done this after is, this. They're done after this show. Yeah. What yeah. if the fun guy takes yeah. over? Our wives won't let us do this again after, after ruining Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. Yeah. Come on, man. Just These hey, Roman. These are my writers here. They're Roman. They, hey, Roman. Get him in here. Get him in here. Where is he? Roman Ryan wants to talk to you about when you went to camp together. Hey, tell him, tell him uh, to to do a story about how their how uh, Valentine's Day is ruined. <laughs> yeah, a story about how Valentine's Day is ruined because of paintball. <laughs> or the spick and span Re- show. Relation, yeah, the spick and span show. The spick and span the show spick and ruined, span show ruined, ruined your relationships. Your okay, ready? The spick and span show ruins Valentine's Day. Yeah, you can't just say what I said. You gotta yeah, you got to come on, man. <laughs> Uh, 
do we get in here? It all started oh, D. D. when oh, yeah. Alex and Ryan started drinking Eagle Rare whiskey on Valentine's Day during the Spick and Span show. When, 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 when the cops showed up, cleaner to yeah, the TV yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> and this Soviet called the cops to the warehouse. I spelled everything wrong on his name. Yeah. Dude, yeah, no. Practice squad line? Eh. No, I mean, the way to do a practice squad is it's half your team. Like, the practice squad of your team is, you know, Logan, Mark Johnson. I mean, who else is going to be on the team and not play? I don't know. So we'll see. <laughs> well, I mean, you, Mouse, A-Rod. J-Rab. Uh, J-Rab. And that leaves room for one other Nico. guy. Nico. Nico. Mark's a, Mark gets in there. He's... Savage, he's yeah. getting after it up the middle. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, let's be realistic. Field. He's not going to play. Like, actually, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think Mark. Mark was. I don't. From what I watched the, you know, the years before, prior, he was. He's good. He can some kills out yeah. of the middle. Yeah, dude, he tackled me one time in a game. Really? <laughs> Remember that, Ryan? I don't. <laughs> I bunkered their guy in the snake. And then he came running to bunker me, and I was, like, just about getting ready to shoot, and he, like, charged me, and, like, literally, my barrel went right into his balls, and I, the verbal's got the reel of it, it's crazy. <coughs> and, like, he turned me, blasted me all around. I mean, Mark's good, but, I mean, you know, I mean, let's be realistic here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a good, he's a pro-level player, but, yeah. you know, I mean, if you hire fucking four top-level guys, you're not gonna... Uh, you know, it'll probably be a mixed thing, and then you're gonna go Listen, into, go I'm, into I'm, Sunday. I'm at, I'm at peace with. We've got Ryan, Marcelo, Archie. Uh, I mean, there's a fucking list of other guys on our team that is, are. I mean, Mike, I would put there. Chris. Yeah. Um, I mean, fuck. Y- Yarber, Harry. Everybody on our team is better than me. So, <laughs> I you know I'm basically the Mark Johnson of our team. Don't you agree, Ryan? He might be a little better than you. <laughs> Definitely has a better de- definitely has a better sense of humor. You did win a ga- you did win a golden barrel though. Oh yeah, he did. I forgot about that. Ryan shot those guys. I shot most of those guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was shooting those guys. And then he's like, "Give him the golden barrel." Yeah, I actually I actually had the controller with the anal anal vibrator. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, you brought him back. Bro. Got him <laughs> finally. <laughs> So Alex, him, Alex had the him. had the anal anal beat in. He had the anal beat in. Shit, <laughs> uh, Meter, why didn't you pick up? I tried to call you. All right, let me move this dude, over Meter here. Meter has impeccable style, man. I was looking at his Instagram the other day. Dude's amazing. He does. Yeah, yeah. He's got this quilt thing, this jacket quilt. Oh yeah. That thing's pretty serious uh, piece green. of machinery. Oh, he's driving. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top down, baby. 120. Uh, you can watch the Spick and Span show while driving. We definitely, we, we should we should cut back on the amount of people that are talking yeah. while driving. Yeah. You can talk And we in also don't condone that. We, just only, we only yeah. condone watching the I mean, Spick and Span listen, show. You, should, you can listen to the Spick and Span show. Like well, that. hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me put this, uh, let me, let me cover my bases here for liability standpoints. After you get that free insurance, the NXL insurance, then you can watch the Spick and Span show while driving. But for now, until you do that, you can only listen to it. I saw a video of, or a picture of you texting and driving on Meter's Instagram. Uh, really- no, I was actually watching surfing and the NFL game. <laughs> we were watching the football game and I was watching the Pipelines Masters. Mm. And I wasn't driving. Elon Musk was driving. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, Everything we're good. We're good. Yeah. yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna do it. Go ahead and give some stuff away because I um, I uh, we got uh, I, new we gotta, stuff to give away now. Yeah, we do. Oh. We do. We do. Yeah, actually. So uh, mm-hmm. HK, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff. So speaking of hoodies, oh yeah, we can pop this little guy up right here. Did uh, HK sponsor the show? Let's yeah. go, baby. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Nice. Did they give you more money than they gave the team? Uh, yeah, yeah. We took we took the deal. Um, the the di- dynasty deal basically. Got the whole dynasty deal. It was it was nice to see uh, see a payment coming through from from Brandon Fort. Dude, Han and Greedo are friends now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, they're in the afterlife right now. <laughs> Watch out, Guido. He's got a gun under in his in his hip. 
Yeah, um, Kenny Kenny set it up with us. Yeah, like Ken- he said, he's the gatekeeper of Fort's American, American Express. Express card. So, um, dude, nice. Dude. We're gonna get Kenny, Kenny on the show. On. Let's go. The actual so um, next month at the end of the month, so we got like goggles to give away. We're gonna get some packs to give away. Uh, we got a TFX three to give away. Um, these hoodies we're gonna give away right now today to a mega member and a regular member. Um, but uh, uh, what I'm really excited for is the end of next month. The grand prize is um, HK Army's American Express card number. Boom. So. Um, you have you have probably about maybe about two or three hours at the Apple Store before they cancel it. So um, it's usually how it works, right? When you mm-hmm. lose your lose your things, you're like, no, I did not go to McDonald's and then to the Apple Store. I'm excited Oldest to trick see of the, the, book. the all the older guys come back out and uh, play WCBBL. Yeah, the Hawks, the dude, Blood Hawks. And they just picked up Dan Norcross. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to Scam. He was have like, you seen that? I short sent me a really cool video too. What yeah. is it? Did, have you seen that little teaser video? I'll show it to you. No, they have they, they have sick videos. They got a, yeah. they have uh, Danny is on the team, so they got content creators. That's what we need to do is we need to pick somebody up who's good with a video camera. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like an important you know when you're building a team. We'll talk about that. That's what we should talk about some other time. Mm-hmm. Is how to build the perfect team. You obviously need you know good players, but you need people that like are talented at doing other stuff, mm-hmm. right? You need someone funny. That's why we have Alex on the team. Yeah, not very good funny. And then you got to have people that are creative and good, like me, and Archie, Marcelo, right? And then you got to have like the hard workers. You need a Ronnie right? Dizon. You need a Dizon, exactly. Yeah. A Dizon doc. We don't have a videographer. Mm. Uh-huh. Hawks are going places. So when you're building your team, you got to pick Beaster back up. Yeah. Dude, good. I never even heard of it. What's the Hawks? The Blood Hawks. Yeah. Well, they're in our divi- they're in our division for uh, the first event. The Blood Hawks. Yeah, it's Brandon Wait, Short, Blue Kenny Rosenberg, mm-hmm. Scott Kemp, uh-huh. Dan Norcross, um, Danny Lincoln, Danny Lincoln, Jay Stu. Well, two of those guys I tried to pick up on our team, so they must be good. <laughs> he did. Lee Short and Scott Kemp. When you yeah. left, when you so and Dalton left, down, and we're brainstorming, we're noodling program. about who to pick up, and he's like, "What about B Short and Skemp? Do you think Skemp's still good?" <laughs> like, dude, we're not picking uh, up. Supposedly, yeah, Skemp's been crushing at practice. Know. He's like been he's the best player, dude. Yeah, I know. I yeah, it. I got a videographer now. Oh uh, yeah, we got a lawyer now on the team. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Dude, you guys are fucked. Yeah. Yeah. You either need a doctor or you need a lawyer. You guys you lost got, all, and you got four also, Dorito guys. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Verbal, my yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Show that Did clip. You that or, I don't know. Oh yeah. Verbal? Let's do it. Verbal just got a cool clip. We'll show I'm it. Track it right now. Dude, Verbal got some awesome shots down at the um, at the Woods Ball tournament. Dude, the aesthetics of that place were awesome. Tiki's, what a cool place to shoot. Yeah. Because there's no nets. There's like you, the, the photographers can be all the way around the field and not have to be all crammed up. Google just sent me a bunch of clips that uh, are start. about eight gigabytes a, a, a pop. <laughs> <laughs> Took me. I started to load one up the other day. It was like two hours. Let's, like, let's, right. Yeah, let's kick. Let's I kick it off here with, with Logan up. Hansel taking a taking a taking a cyclops here. That's why I'm really he's playing so good. Um, Thursday, February sixteenth, by seven PM, you'll get your your package uh, verbal. Oh yeah! All right, here's a little pic, a little little video of uh, uh here. Dude, we're in the Super Bowls in Vegas next year. Go. No, just hey, use Logan as a shield. Human shield, dude. Side I like out. that. Was that J Rab? Yep. Oh, he, shot, yeah. Snuck out, shot Shane, wrap in the corner, bump J Rab. Dude, got two more kills. So you guys Did need. Did Shane shoot that first guy though? Yeah, he shot Logan. Him, him or, or J Rab. Good job, Shane. Nice. I think Sunday I bunker, bunkered the most people. What's up with that? It's it was freezing yeah, there. It was freezing there. Those goggles are heinous. <laughs> They're pretty comfortable. What else you What else you got for them? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? Dude, Why are you doing I, I that? I like the team sticker you put on your loader too. That's really nice. That was a uh, Gr- Greg's loader, but team spirit. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start spinning this wheel. Yeah, I think I had the most bunks I've had in a practice in one time. Dude, that's... I think it's nine or ten. You need and to get, I was like you need 90% to get a barrel cam. Off the break. We need a new barrel cam yeah, system. Yeah, maybe. Uh, right now, I'm gonna give away uh, this HK hoodie. The the let's see the split one. It's just that gray. Going oh the long shots again, baby. Yeah, verbal. Let's I need go. to I need to extract I think that it's video. This one right here. I'm just figuring out if uh if my MacBook's gonna be able to take a couple of those downloads. Ooh, it's 5:30 already. Woo! 
Um, Austin, I've used I've used that mask before for a couple of years on on impact, so I think it's comfortable. You can definitely feel a little more protected. But I was I was riding the line with the Proflex with the soft ears. Is that what, Oh apart. yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, you had you had the original. Yeah. Um, it was like wearing sunglasses on the field. Did you guys are cowards? Who? Basically everybody except for us. Okay, I agree with that. I can get behind that comment. Yeah, my, my media shot in my face. Wait, what goggles do you guys wear? The EVS. No, I I wore the the bare bones pro flights. I wore soft ears, practice, everything, and they were falling off. Yeah, I got rid of the uh, soft ears once uh, once I got bunkered in that DNG practice and was seeing stars for two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, right now I'm just kind of spinning the wheel. Um, we've got uh, we've got a handful of things. Mike, you just won a uh, a shirt, courtesy of the Spick and Span Show. Um, I've got a couple more little HK giveaways. Um, the hoodies are going to be shipped directly to you by Kenny uh, this week. I've got two hoodies. One's going to go to a mega member. The other one just went to Long Shots Paintball. So I'm going to get your uh, shirt size. And then uh, Jeremy S, you're going to get a nice little. Uh, little HK grab bag, some lanyards and stickers. We got a bunch of stuff showing up at the house. So uh, super stoked. I want to thank Kenny and those guys for uh, for hooking it up. We just always love to be able to get, you know, handfuls of goodies, you know? Dude, thanks, Kenny. Filling mm -hmm. it up. Filling up the coffers. Uh, and then we'll have a bunch of hand, a handful of, uh, of high ticket items to uh to show off and, and give away uh next gift is going to be a hundred dollars to uh matrix gear paintball Boom. oh yeah matrix i'm has just been... surprised that, that it's taken this long for a big money uh sponsor to come into the spick and span show i feel like now i mean the the, the doors are open i feel like the, the floodgates um you know it's gonna happen now i mean I, if if a paintball company wants to make it they've got to sponsor the spick and span show we i i, a, I completely lead. agree yeah yeah i, I don't know. yeah I, I completely agree with you, you know. We have, yeah, we have a bunch of uh, little projects that we're working on, you know. We actually did get that little boom mic arm, Mr. Uh, Ryan Moffitt. Yeah, uh, revamped the site a little bit. Yeah, we got the website going. Kyle's got I, an I office. I do know we're, that, you know, for at least, at least our company, Hormesis, um, uh, you know, things weren't going real well. And then we started... <laughs> Uh, promoting on the Spick and Span show and boom, like it, it all happened. That's so. true. That's true. That's true. Off. That's we true. We did put you guys on the map. I think that's true. Oh, you know, Alex, do you have one of these things? These little joy paintball things from uh, from Mr. Riddle. I can believe he does. I do. Yeah. yeah. It's called a, a zine. Yeah. Oh, it's called the zine. Just the zine. Yeah. All right. Well, this one's going to magazine, William. Yeah. William Aguilar. All right. Uh, okay. And then uh, also Chris Jocelyn eighty five. You just won this Hormesis goggle strap. Courtesy of uh, an Alex leave behind at my house. I got some stuff too here. I got a uh, headband right here. We just got these in. Okay. So we'll, uh, throw, okay. throw back to our uh, to our OG club. Let's see what does it look like. <laughs> so I'm gonna spin the wheel for the mega support status members. If you guys are so oh, Kid Mungus, dude. Oh, Kenny just sent me the um the trailer for the Bloodhawks paintball team. Oh, damn. Just came out. It's on YouTube? Yeah, nine minutes ago, so I'll put the Cop link. Yeah, copy that. Copy and paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. So Let's see the Kid Mungus. Talk about after. Kid Mungus a little bit, Alex. Oh, well, I mean, Kid Mungus. So Oliver used to work at Blockbuster Video, and um, it was pretty close to my house, so I'd go over there and, like, he'd hook me up with free videos and stuff, and we'd go play paintball on the weekend, and they had this thing called Kid Mungus, and every videotape that was suitable for kids they put a Kid Mungus sticker on so parents, parents could be like, oh, that one uh, is okay for my kid to watch. So Oliver stole a roll of those stickers, and we started putting them all over the paintball field, all over everything. And then we made a, a crew called the Kid Mungus crew. And basically, the, the reason we started it is just so Ryan couldn't be in it. So we're like, all we're in Kid Mungus. <laughs> we need ice, ice Ryan. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's all and, that's uh, all their life was was trying to ice me <laughs> that's basically it so um yeah uh it was um our little uh our little gang um and uh yeah that's all and uh, we got some pretty legit people to wear like billy saransky he still wears it yeah no he's the man dude did you see him ripping it at the, at yeah. the tournament yeah s s just roasting people dude give him a call man he'll sponsor this pick and span show uh-huh might be a conflict of interest but yeah 
We'll work he on that. You, <laughs> he sure does. He sure does love me. Who's that? <laughs> Billy Saransky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he the heroines doesn't, documentary. He doesn't love you? Hey, have you seen the heroines documentary yet? Yet? I have not. Oh, you got to watch available? that. Yeah, it's available. Where do you watch it? Um, I don't know. What? The uh, right, Bloodhawks? Well. No, the 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 heroines documentary. How do you? I, it might, it's just probably Google. just on. Yeah, yeah, just Google or it. Or hit YouTube. Heroin. Heroin documentary. Heroin. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you put an S at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get sidetracked. <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. <laughs> WNXL. <laughs> YouTube. All right. Is that where it is? Yep. Yeah. Because uh, uh, yeah, this search. Don't 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 search heroin's documentary because you're not gonna find it. <laughs> you gotta put WNXL. That was uh, that's like the um, what is it? M- MLP. Forgot to look for the search SEO uh, on oh, MLP, yeah. which is My Little Pony owns that that area. Um, that's gonna be MLP. Yeah, is My Little oh, Pony, my little but pony, that's also right? gonna be Major League Paintball. A little bit of a marketing staffu right there mm-hmm. as well. All right, I got um I got this hoodie that we have right here on the screen. Uh, this is the bubble gum hoodie just released. Uh, so I'm gonna spin the wheel to the it's mega edible? support. I uh, eat at your own risk. Yeah, I guess that? you'll find out. Yeah, you'll find I out. I type in WNXL and all that comes up is, is videos of Ryan Greenspan. <laughs> Come on, dude. We can laugh at that. Uh, it was pretty. It was. It was. It. You just didn't put it a lot behind right. it. Yeah, it's all right. You didn't put a lot behind that. All right. Look, it's like Mr. Peter Che is gonna be winning a brand new hoodie. Speaking of hoodies, dude, I found the it. Mega Wheel. Yep, this is the Mega Wheel. Speaking of the um, nice hoodies, thanks. Shout out to Archie it's and Project called The Pinball. Heroines Documentary Part 1 Edition 1 Suitable for all audiences Is that the name of the the episode Or is that telling us that it's actually suitable for all audiences That's all of that is um, It could be like a Netflix documentary Yeah is that like all Is that all um, in the description right there Yeah wow. Random thought Verbo said too Everything is edible Just like everything That's true Is a uh, Tell my dog that I just threw up twice on the carpet I just today. subscribed Brian Carmichael. Um, How do people eat glass? I never understood that. I don't know. Like magicians? Alex, you know? We could How probably do they eat glass? Yeah. How do they like they should chew we, on a glass? Should we, should we, put, that the, uh, that one, yeah, should we put that on the next episode eat, of uh, eating terrible, terrible things? Terrible things. <laughs> yeah. They're actually eating the glass. It's not I don't think it's a you know, it's a stunt. It's not really a magic trick. Dude, look at that. <laughs> look at that guy. It's almost yeah. over, dude. It's almost out. There we oh, go. Wow. Spick and span, antibacterial yeah. cleaner. That's right. Yeah. Dude, keeping things clean. Can we yeah, get I in a... Uh... Uh... Join the Spick and Span show. It's the only thing that you can me through this fan. In Spick trouble. Spick for... Drinking a little bit of this being too span close? No, 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 no. We can get in trouble, though. Apple doesn't really like uh, your last name without the A. Mm. There's some negative connotations, so they've uh, shadow banned our entire podcast scenario there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. You win or you lose. Yeah. We could just also say that we're podcast, we're, we're Spotify exclusive. We got signed for that Spotify What are you going to do with that? You got to change the name. What are we going to change? You're not going to change it. It's too late in the game. If you if you will commit. We'll call, the, we'll call it the Green Eggs and Span Show. Mm-hmm. Green Eggs. Yeah. You, you kind of get you kind of get nice. Yeah, I do get one. nice. Yeah, one. yeah. Sorry, pal. <laughs> it's all right. Listen, um, wait, I'm happy with our. How do we? Th- how do we say it earlier? I thought we we thought of that that before. Spick and span show, like it would be one <laughs> word. Spick a span. Spick a span show. Mm. Huh. I don't think that works either. I mean, it's got to be the Kyle and span show or something. Mm. I don't know. Kyle and Ryan doesn't really. That's not. We're keeping spick and span, man. We're yeah. just happening. It's happening. We're happy. Right, we're a right, happening right. show. We're a happening place. We're inclusive. Everybody's happy. We're Dan happy. Shelley said it's not real glass. It's sugar, sugar glass. Sugar glass. Who the heck is sugar glass? All right. Hey, Money Mike seven seven seven. You just won. I've had this for a long time. Uh, you're gonna win this. Uh, this giant party sports tiger stripe greenspan eighteen jersey. Uh, gonna be doing some announcements with uh, with giant party sports here in a couple of weeks. So uh, I figured I'd, I'd dust this sucker off. Money Mike, Money Mike. All right, for you guys that all know the magic tricks, how, how do you explain the sword down the throat? Oh, he's got it. Is it one, real, dog. Is it it's one of those stunt. those swords that are like the no, knife? No, it's the real. Knife it's real. It slides into the handle? It's a, stunt. it's a stunt. It's not a magic trick. So you think the glass is real? Yes. I don't know. I think it's it's sugar. No. 
Sugar? What is what is sugar glass? Sugar glass. That's a real thing? Yeah. Where do you see that? The glass. Everyone's writing it's sugar glass. The glass is made of sugar. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Very cool. Let's get some. Get online and order some sugar glass oh, right now. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Maybe we should go. You, young Jamie, you got the whole computer right here. Yeah, yeah. And you're like pondering on how they would make it. You could just ask. I like that. I order, like the, order the some, thought. Order I like some ghost pepper sugar glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got we got the we got the ghost peppers on lock sugar right now. Sugar glass prop. All right. I'm gonna. Uh, oh damn. Oh wow. It's real. Oh, we get the bro broken bottles. Those would be pretty fun. Let's do that. We're yeah, smash nice bottles, over bottles over your heads. Yeah. That's... Breakaway beer bottle. Mm. Oh, these are like. How fun? Yeah. It'd what be funny these, to do those ones. What in... about these uh, finger hmm. articulated fingers? Three D printed articulated think, fingers. Alex, kind of weird stuff you're looking at. These? All right, right now I'm gonna be giving away a uh, hundred dollar <laughs> gift card. Matrix gear. Shout out to Paul from Matrix Gear Paintball. Check them out. Support all the sponsors. Uh, we got Gen X, HK Army, Matrix Gear, Island Designs, Hormesis. Derek Weagle, Nick Sloviak. <laughs> we got Forky. Oh, yeah. Dude, fake cigarettes, five bucks. Yeah, Alex used to smoke fake cigarettes all the time. Right now? Dude, all the coolest paintball players would smoke cigarettes. Uh, all right, what do we got? You got, what? what is it you have over there? Let's see. Look at these these jellyfish martini Hormesis. glasses. Hormesis, we got a strap. We got a shirt. We got the hoodie, the bubble hoodie given away. All right. Give some bands away too, if you want. Yeah, I did. I gave a uh, uh, Brian Carmichael one a a headband just now. Th this one? Sure. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> well, I just if there is a certain one, you know. Uh, no, it's kind of dealer's choice, and you're the dealer. You're the you're the Hormesis right. dealer. <laughs> I'm gonna load you up right now, Brian Carmichael. All right, there we go. So yeah, congrats! All the Mega members won big stuff here. We got uh, the bubble hoodie going to Peter Peter Che. Thanks, uh, Kenny and the HK Army for that. Uh, we got Longshot, who actually won last week. Longshots. Yeah, he's on Not, a roll. Yeah, you're on a roll. You also won a hoodie. So uh, reach out to me, both Peter and uh, and the Longshot crew, and let me know what your size is, and I'll make sure that they they sh send it out there. Then uh, Rob Casper, yeah, it was it is a Proflex strap that I'm giving away right here. That went to uh, Proflex strap from Hormesis that went to uh, Chris Jocelyn eighty five. Same number as you. Yeah, Chris right. Jocelyn eighty five. Ocho um, Cinco. Ocho yeah, Cinco. Is that why? Is that why you're eighty five? That is, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jeremy S and Corey Rodera. Um, you guys both won a little HK grab bag. So a uh, bunch of stuff's gonna be shipped to the house tomorrow, and uh, or in the, this week. And we'll we'll get some stuff filled up and sent out to you guys. You're gonna have to send me Mr. Carmichael's address. I don't have it. I will find it for you. Uh, Money Mike won this jersey. I got the Hormesis strap for Brian Carmichael. Fort Key and Rob M Mata each won Matrix Gear Paintball hundred dollar gift cards. And for majority of the stuff that we're sending out, I'm throwing in some Gen X stuff too. You're gonna get a pod or a barrel condom or or blocker barrel blocker. I think they're barrel blockers when they're the big rubber ones. But uh, yeah. Anyway. You think you'd call the rubber ones condoms? Um Yeah, I guess you make that make that is that what you use? Reference. <laughs> Does give me about an extra uh extra lamb, lamb skin barrel condom? Yeah, the lamb skin. <laughs> Dude, why do they call it a barrel condom anyway? Come on. Somebody because it's for like, protection. I know, but I mean it's a, a fa it's a phallic like cover that protects you. For things for things blasting out. Let's uh, I mean, ask Google. Barrel no, no. cover? Like, that would make more sense. Barrel yeah. cover? Type in barrel condom. <laughs> Why'd you put D in the beginning? <laughs> D, <laughs> D barrel condom? D's nuts. <laughs> no, I wanted the barrel thing. condom. Yeah, for paintball gun insurance. Well, I know what that's Barrel sock. Oh, oh. Yeah. Thin rubber sheath. <laughs> uh, yeah, when you type in uh, again, condom definition... Oh uh, man! A thin Girl rubber song. sheath worn, Dude, Dylan Williams in here. Yes, worn he is. under on a man's during. A couple other words you can probably just leave out. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a sheath, commonly of rubber, worn. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blanks. Hey, All right, guys. In there, huh? We gotta wrap it no, up. It doesn't have a. <laughs> Doghouse yeah. Studios. Yeah. I'm actually gonna drive up to the cabin right now. YouTube's gonna put us in the doghouse. Yeah, we're gonna be. We're gonna be. You're going. You're going to the cabin. Yeah. Right tonight. Yeah. 
it buys yeah. me some time not to get in trouble because if we're in the car, we had to wait till traffic was over anyway. It's a plan. It's an elaborate plan. I'm just gonna see not how it plays argue. out. Not to get in the door. What would you do if you got in the car and Camille threw up the spick and span show on her phone? Dude, I'd be able oh, to watch yeah, it. I'd be in heaven. Up. I love listening huh? to myself. I'd be in heaven. I love listening <laughs> to myself talk for two hours, just like everybody else does. I appreciate Dude, you guys. Get it up, All Ryan. Shut up. Get it up, Ryan. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're, that's the what you're CBS gonna say. Sell flowers. That's what know. you're gonna say at the we next can ask thing. Alex next week. Hey, I want it the. Does sell flowers? Yes, I did buy. I, well, I bought flowers at Walgreens. I want the right. first speech that you make to be about me, and then maybe I'll listen. No, don't. Don't work. Don't. don't. Worry. First. I'm going to say, do it for Oliver, and then I'll say something about you. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't say Ryan's any. Ryan's a jackass. Don't, <laughs> don't lead him on at all. Just at the end of the speech, you're like, right, Ryan? And look at him. <laughs> and then on that week after show, we'll yeah. see if he can uh, we'll recount. Yeah, 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 we'll yeah. get Verbal or someone in on it, yeah. too, so that he can record the speech. Look at this. Dude, here we go. And then we'll let Ryan go first, and then we'll replay the speech. So it's funny. In here, yep, no, I don't have any speeches from Alex Frege. Oh, no, no. Clearly nothing very profound. I do have one from Oliver. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm, just, I'm to, just looking at what the, what the Speak you. and Span show has queued up for, like, the most important stuff. Oh, got it. All right. right. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I uh -oh. appreciate what you bring Come to the in. show. Come on in. Alex, look at this. Come here, my little Valentine. Here, bring your, bring your, uh, bring your balloon. balloon. Show everybody your balloon, honey. Okay. Watch this. And can you say Happy Valentine's Day to everybody? Here you go. Oh, That's you're, a cool you jacket. Here. here you go, Dad. Thanks. Hi, Sloan. Happy Valentine's Day. Is that you? Uh, that's yeah, that's Alex? us. Yeah, we're all Uncle we're Alex. on all these screens. Look, it's Uncle Alex. He stinks, huh? Yeah, he stinks. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't tell him he stinks. You can tell him. Tell him he stinks. You can tell tell everybody. Right yeah, now. you stink. Yeah. What does he well, smell like? You know, he smells like uh, fart. Don't use all natural deodorant. <laughs> you <laughs> fart. Yeah. Can't argue with you. Yeah. She she smells like ro. You smell smell like roses. Tell him he smells like whiskey. Oh, yes, I do. You smell like whiskey. <laughs> 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 Off the bus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody. <laughs> Alex, have fun in the doghouse. Be on the last pick and span show. Don't tune in next week because I will not be here. <laughs> Make sure to put that bad company jersey on and get your butt home. Yeah. For Valentine's yeah, get your yeah. butt bad yeah. home. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, se <laughs> nothing sexier than a long bad company jersey <laughs> with no chonies underneath. <laughs> playing those guys Ryan, they had those fishbowl goggles and running down that hill in chicago <laughs> that was great what is, what is this Patty. it's a it's a it's a chicken chicken mm -hmm. no it's a, eggs eggs and chickens are probably the, the no, hottest no uh, this is the, not a chicken the hottest what gift what no it? it's not a chicken it's 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 a valentine's day ladybug oh valentine all right i can see it all Did right they everybody show this cool shirt is yeah. it going on? It's, it's my speaking special shirt. Look at that. No. <laughs> She's obviously misguided. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you fight it. Because you're stinky. You, 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 fight, you fight on horses. <laughs> she must be some kind of a prophet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's just smart, thing? like her old man. And I got yeah. fire on your head. <laughs> <laughs> We're really into farts right now. Yeah, your dad does that hey, too. Hey, dad. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have to do it right now, but maybe when we see him next, we'll fart on his head. <laughs> All right. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, farty. Bye. Bye, farty. Did you like the show, Sloan? Oh, what do you think? He's about to hang out. What do you think what of the show? show? What do you think? Thank you, Fatio. Who's that? Hmm? Oh, Goku Mm-hmm. What do you think about the and show? And that. And just a hmm? Was the show good, Sloan? Is the show over? Show's over. Show's over.